lose it. Dude. I was trying to lose my patience. And that you lose your patience. Ha! <laughs> <clears throat> ha! Doctor joke. Hello, everyone. How's it going? I was definitely here the entire time. Sure you were, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, wizard. This time, wizard. That's all I got. The uh, last time, wizards. This time, wizard. Last night, wizards. This time, just one. <gasps> wizard. Wizard. I forget. Did we ever figure out who the perspective this is? It hasn't been um, confirmed, but we're pretty sure it's Alice. Yeah. Okay. You want to read it or you want me to read it? I think it's best to keep you since it's not 100% confirmed because it also could be the wizard. Yeah. It could also be the wizard, but you're also the wizard. Yeah, I know, but like, I have two very different voices for the wizard and Alice, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> By the way, I dreamed of you again last night. I appreciate you did that last time. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, it looked like the darkness was going to consume me. But in the end, it wasn't strong enough. Conversely, I was now more powerful than the darkness. Okay, Alice. A lonely path only I could travel. <laughs> you wish, buddy. Because I was alone. I was unshackled and free. And because I was free, no one can tie me down. No marriage for Alice, let's go. I spent my life in solitude. There were four other people here in the dark abyss. They were all fragile, fra flawed creatures who were aggravating to be around. Hmm. That makes sense, because, like, um. Uh, we know that. Gretel wasn't formed until after, so I think this is before. Yeah. Why were they so also indecisive over the most inconsequential trifles? I knew what had happened to them, but I felt no sympathy for them, and I didn't try to fit in. Did I feel this way because I lacked flaws? I knew I was supposed to lead them. Personally, I had a different view of the situation. I think this is Alice because Gretel only comes after uh, they get into the Arisu family. And then, based on my own headcanon, Wizard comes after that, so. Interesting, because I'm pretty sure this is the Wizard. Hmm. I knew I was supposed to lead. Oh, yeah, lead them. Mm -hmm. But personally, I had a different view on the situation. That's weird. To me, if they were so annoying to deal with, then the, so then the solution was to eradicate them. But no one was able to do so, and thus the responsibility had been dumped on me. <gasps> if I killed them, no one would hold me accountable. After all, no one would miss them. But one day, that changed. Definitely the wizard. I was always alone, looking at the mirror. In the looking glass world, the perspective was always shifting, and I never took an interest in anything. I never got attached. Eventually, I got sick of looking at the mirror and started thinking, I'd be better off if I disappeared. Within my fixed field of vision, I could see a chessboard on the table. I knew the rules of the game, but I've never played against another person. Then one day, she called out to me from the other side of the mirror. Checkmate! Nice to meet you. My name is... She started to introduce herself and then stopped. Well, you probably already know. 
In the mirror, she smiled as if she could see right through me. I know all about you. <gasps> Would you tell me your name? I ignored her. Then she showed up the next day and called out to me again. My brother told me you know the whole story. But no one knows about you, huh? They all think you disappeared? Or maybe they, they think you never existed to begin with? Even though you're literally right here. I'm the only one who knows about you. Can you hear me? Where are you? Even I didn't know the answer to that. She showed up again the next day, and the day after that. Are you getting sick of me yet? Trust me, I know I'm being annoying. That's the point. Poke, 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 poke. But that's just who I am. If I was anyone else, I wouldn't be here right now. You see, there's this person I love very much. She started talking about herself entirely unprompted. He told me he loves me too. I didn't love myself, but that didn't matter to him. He said to me, I love your gemstone eyes and soft fluffy hair. That's what makes you, you. Interesting, because Snow said that. Wizard! Snow said that in Snow's route, though. Yeah. Interesting. I already, I already knew about that. Actually, now that we have confirmation that it's Wizard, do you want to read the lines? Is it the wizard? Because that line in particular was the wizard, but this could be Alice. I guess it could be. Yeah. Maybe no one else could remember it, but I could. And I'd surely never forget. Do you know who that person was? The wizard. <laughs> wizard! And I'm right here. I answered on reflex. Okay, confirmation. Wizard. Weasel. Wizard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Now we're back to break you. Yep. I woke in the middle of the night from an anxiety attack and left my room. <laughs> Wizard without any vowels is cursed. <laughs> After a great deal of deliberation and hesitation, I chose a door to knock on. Wizard, please. Wizard. <laughs> Fuck, it's Gretel. <laughs> I mean, uh... Yes, yes, coming. Good grief. Which one of you imbeciles had to go and disturb my peaceful... Wait. Sister? Sorry to bother you so late. Can I sleep in your room? Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if Gretel just closes the door and then just like slaps himself in the face just to see if he wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> Gretel stared back in wide eyes, surprised at my sudden request. Then his lips curled into a half smile. Mm hmm. <sighs> You're such a needy baby. Enter your own risk, I suppose. And so he welcomed me in in the only way he knows how to be a creeper. Yep. Thanks! Right, his room is the kitchen. Yeah. He let me borrow half of his bed. As opposed to the whole bed, I guess. I mean... He's still gonna get in bed with her, we both know this. Yeah. And then he laid down facing me, yep, and spoke to me as if he was reassuring a child after a nightmare. No oh boy. Bunk bed in the kitchen. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so what is it? Is that the first time you've you ever asked to sleep with me? Phrasing, Gretel. Phrasing. Phrasing. I... I had a dream. 
を組むんですか A bad dream? No, it was really nostalgic. It was about before I came to live in this little town and after I started living with all of you. Hey, Gretel? Hmm? hmm? Are you happy with the way things are now? Of course I am. I get to share a bed with my beloved sister, don't I? What more could I possibly ask for? A normal headspace about, I don't know, just not being a siscon. I don't know, Boundaries. man. Boundaries. <laughs> Boundaries. He snickered at me like the question was silly. <laughs> PG kicks him, out, kicks of him out of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Be honest. His smile faded. He looked back at me intently. Then he broke eye contact with me. No, I'm not. I thought maybe you came here to, to tell me you'd chosen me, but you haven't, have you? No. <sighs> he let out an exaggerated sigh. You're such a cruel woman. You know full well the situation we're in. Yet you're doing it anyway. His bitter tone echoed through the darkened room. I'm sorry. You really think I'm gonna forgive you? Yeah, I've got you wrapped around my finger. Oh, for crying out loud. I swear I can't stand you sometimes. Defeated, he rolled over onto his back. <laughs> Sucker. Sister, I'm in love with you. I know. And I'm in love with you too. Sister, please just choose me. If you choose me, you won't have to die. Then again, I guess my brothers all feel that way too. Kicks him out of the bed again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You really love them, don't you? No shit. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I do. Good grief. Why did we all have to fall in love with someone as unmonogamous as you? What's wrong with us? Polyamory is okay, Gretel. Yeah, I know. I was like, I had to figure out how to say that word. I was like, that's a weird one to just roll off the tongue there. The, uh, Gretel is special. Gretel is special. He let out a self-deprecating laugh again. Then he rolled back over and flicked my forehead. <laughs> oh. Reflexively, I squeezed my eyes shut, punching myself into pure darkness. When I timidly opened them again, I found Gretel pouting at me. It's your fault for being so charming. You give us everything we want. As long as we live under the same roof, there's no way we wouldn't fall for you eventually. But we can't split you five ways. Right! Not without at least a lot of blood being <laughs> Besides, we wouldn't want you to love us all equally anyway. Yeah. Sister, I only want to be the- I want to be the only thing you see. 
the only one you love. All we want from the bottom of our hearts is for you to choose us. I want you to choose me. If you choose me, I'll do anything for you. I'll work hard in schoolwork and sports so I can be worthy of your perfection. I'll even work on my attitude. If you promise to be only mine, we'll live happily ever after. But if you and I got together, I wonder what would happen to everyone else. Okay, Gretel, but your attitude is Siskon, it needs to go away. <laughs> so true. True. Uh, I think about it from time to time, you know. Probably because we all live under the same roof, I suppose. If you were to choose someone besides me, I think I'd go insane with jealousy. Me you know. True. It would hurt so much. I'd be heartbroken. So yes, I'd probably get frustrated with you. But at the same time, I would accept it. Shocking information, but okay. I love my brothers after all. Oh great, now he's a brother con too. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, they can be obnoxious at times, and they infuriate me constantly, but I don't hate them for it. Aw, Grandma loves his big brothers. <laughs> Flick. What? <laughs> he karate chopped me on the head while laying down. Yep. He had to physically move his body. <laughs> It's not like he just raised his hand and dropped it. Jeez, don't hit me. You're such a jerk. I gave him a reproachful look. Then I saw his eyes glittering in the darkness and drew in a breath. I want you to choose me. But the choice is yours to make. When it comes to a woman who loves multiple men, I think this is probably the closest thing we have to a fair solution. Then he donned an impish grin. For now, I'll accept that you've chosen me for tonight and let you off the hook. I hope you appreciate your little brother's generosity. Right. Thanks, Gretel. The next morning when I awoke, I let Gretel sleep in and headed off to the living room where I found the wizard relaxing on the <laughs> sofa. Good morning! Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? Not at all. <laughs> Fairly well, yeah. As I passed him, I grabbed my apron from the shelf nearby. But instead of putting it on, I twiddled my fingers and attempted to compose myself. Have you figured out who sent me the blackmail letter? Yeah. No, not, not at all. Not good. I was going to say, he was sleeping, girl. <laughs> I see. What about you, Lady Arisu? You have like, your papa. You still haven't chosen blah, 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 anyone? Blah, 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 blah. blah. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, he brought the same subject from, from yesterday and the original purpose of the note and the whole reason <laughs> why this convoluted situation exists. Three days had now passed since he first arrived at our house. Saku! We have two days. Yep. Fuck! <laughs> 
Only two days remain until the fulfillment. We just said that. <laughs> <laughs> we can do math. <laughs> I closed my eyes and thought it over carefully. Who should I prioritize? And what should I do to help them? The answer I found was... Will you choose one person to be your husband? Absolutely not. Fuck that shit. <laughs> How about Bob on? <laughs> well, you said absolutely not, right? Well, yeah, I said no. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be no. Because if this is Wizard's route, we have to defy him the entire way through. I honestly don't expect us to get it right the first try. Like, there's no way. We never do. I, I mean, think we got really far in Cinderella's, and then we fucked up something. Yeah. And then we found out that we fucked up more things. With Cinderella, we only fucked up, like, one thing, but we were able to figure out what we fucked up. And, mm. like, Cinderella was the easiest to fix. Everyone else was, like, we could Everyone could else we needed exactly. a fucking guide. Well, we needed... And then we found out... We looked up the guide for Cinderella too, but then that's how we figured out what we messed up. But yeah, they're like everybody else is like, we missed like a very key moment very early on in the run because we did something stupid. <laughs> yeah, let's do something <laughs> stupid. Never. <laughs> but anyways, I say no because it's Wizard's route. Yeah, and it keeps them around longer. Yeah, there was no need to rush. We still had two whole days, bitch. <laughs> I still had two days until the full moon. All I need to do is find the truth before my time was up. With that decision made, it suddenly felt like a weight had lifted from my shoulders. If I was going to choose someone, then they would have hired you. True. Sure, if I don't choose one of my five fiancés, my life will be in danger. But even if I did choose one, no one would benefit from it. You should think the person you choose would benefit, at the very least. After all, he would get to spend the rest of his life with you. And what of the other four? Sorry to say, they have no choice but to back down. They have no choice. They won't have their own happy endings? Perhaps they will if they seek out a different story. As in, they should find someone else to marry? To be perfectly frank, yes. Are you opposed to that? His cheeks flush red in him. Oh, my cheeks flush red in embarrassment. <laughs> Wizard can never be embarrassed. <laughs> Let me guess. You think I'm greedy? Something like that. I'm not exactly proud of myself either. By falling for more than one man, I'm being unfaithful. Polyamory. Polyamory. We've been over this. There's a very simple... Like, they already are being polyamorous. Like, everyone's yeah, chill. Like, like <laughs> well, more or less. Make sure everybody's cool with it. Be like, hey, what if we just lived like this forever, honestly? Yeah, like, teesh. The problem is, is that this, this game always has the, uh... When you're in the moment, it's the fantasy, but the fantasy can't last forever. Yeah. So, like, it's gonna end one way or another. Especially when those men are all faithful to me alone. I like the attention. <laughs> I live for the applause. Just then, I remembered something. Good job, no. very cute. Mr. Wizard, you said you're in love with someone, right? Did he? I don't remember this. I don't remember. <laughs> the subject had come during our conversation last night when... So this me. Yes, I am. Hmm. Can I ask you what they're like? Oh yeah, sure. Answer a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I lean forward slightly. Mm, give me the details. <laughs> Last night I was too stressed out to care, but today I decided to put my problems on the back burner. 
Besides, I was excited to stick my nose into or er, learn more about the mysterious wizard's personal life for educational purposes. For science. Science. Just a stubborn, competitive person who would do anything to win. <laughs> Sounds like I would get along with her. Hmm. I imagine you would. He laughed, probably thinking about our chess games. She's a cruel person. <laughs> I didn't understand myself, but that didn't matter to her. I'm just, I'm waiting for like the moment where Reiki is just like, wait, bitch, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said to me, if you don't have anything, then you can have me. But in return, I want you. That is very Reiki. Yeah, that is very Reiki. You are my property. You're going to make all my desires and demands a reality. Yep. Wow, who died and made her queen? Snow's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Alice's mom. The system's Alice's mother. Mom <laughs> Actually, I let a little bit of my unfiltered opinion slip out. Fortunately, the wizard didn't seem to mind. I could see how you'd think that, but it meant a lot to me. I was a bit player until she came along and gave me a role. It's really funny that Spooky's just like, God damn it, you two! Yeah. <laughs> now I'm her property, and I'll do whatever it takes to make her desires and demands a reality. So basically, I was right. Reiki is the evil queen. <laughs> you sound like a total masochist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever said that about me before. But you might be right. So is she your girlfriend? I don't know. Is she? <laughs> she might be. Yeah. No. We're not together. She has five fiancés after all. <laughs> I blinked. From the way he spoke about her, I figured they were an item. But you still... love her? Because he understands polyamory, see? <laughs> of course I love her. Well, how does she feel about you? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. You. <laughs> <laughs> Same bread, so let's go. <laughs> Beats me. I wouldn't know. He shrugged and stared in the space. A rare occurrence for him. You've slept together on several occasions in the past, and I wouldn't call that love. Wizard <gasps> gets it? <laughs> You do keep calling him private dick wizard. <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently the evil queen is at is calling him that. <laughs> I mean he could get it. Uh, <laughs> especially in this outfit, he could get it. True. She doesn't love you? But she has sex with you anyway? Whoa. <laughs> The second the words left my lips, I clapped a hand to my mouth in regret. Well, that was blunt. Yeah, this was just a booty call. <laughs> I'm sorry. I smiled wryly. When you can't get your emotional needs met, sometimes all you can do is fill the void. <laughs> When the fuck was the last time this game used the word sex out, right? Um, Gretel's outburst early in the wizard chapter. Yeah. 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 And then Red passed out. Yeah. Immediately afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying she has unresolved emotional needs? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'd say so. Yeah, poor puppy. <laughs> in other words, sound like the wizard's beloved was interested in someone else. 
She was simply using him as a surrogate in the internet. <gasps> I guess I don't really understand that sort of logic. I couldn't give myself to someone I didn't love. I wouldn't want to. Wizard just kind of side-eyes her like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure she didn't sleep with you because she loves you? That's not possible, I'm afraid. She's emotionalist. She's a cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> what makes you say that? Because she's in love with someone else. Mm. Apparently my hypothesis was about her was right. <gasps> so, your feelings are... one-sided? Indeed. My love for her is entirely unrequited. Oh, eternally unrequited. That one. Yes, that one. Eternally? The word made me indescribably sad. Isn't that kind of hard for you? That's what <laughs> Not really, believe it or not. She gave me everything I needed, physically and emotionally. Sometimes you just need a booty call, you know? <laughs> he paused as though a memory had been sparked within him. And he smiled stiffly. Perhaps I truly am a masochist. <laughs> I mean, he is, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> just two days remains until the night of the full moon. It is the dawn. Of the first day. <laughs> we were walking down the street in the opposite direction to my college. Today, we're going to talk to Kaguya, right? Eh, that's correct. So this. Is it now? What are you planning to ask him? Naturally, we're going to pick up where we left off last time. I paused to think. Are you talking about the chronology of events? So this. Precisely. When it comes to the story that the brothers' memories tell, Kage only appears in the second half. <gasps> Sorry, go on. Do you need a refresher? I, I really hope that a, cho that a choice pops up is like, do you need a refresher on what the fuck's going on right now? <laughs> That'd be great. No, that's okay. I shook my head. Thus far, we had learned the past history of Cinderella, Snow White, and Red Riding Hood. A commonality between their stories was the presence of their mother. While the opinions of her varied, by adding their memories together, it became clear why she had changed. Next, we needed to solve the mystery of what happened after the brothers became orphans. I understand Kaguya was passed around from relative to relative. It was not necessary if the mother was alive. <gasps> the wizard got a brain cell. <laughs> like the three older brothers, Kaguya and Gretel had showed up in the other households. Grown up, not shown up. That's okay. With what, what, if our theory is correct, both... Both are right. Both ways that we can say that sentence are right. I mean, yes, but you read it wrong. <laughs> I know, I did. Still, they weren't that far apart in age from Cinderella. So how did they get separated from the rest of the family? The more I thought about it, the stranger it seemed. Why had I noticed before now? Even that seemed strange. Because the fantasy is starting to disappear. However, I don't feel good about this. Still having second thoughts? Wizard shrugged his shoulders in uh, exasperation. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> of course I am. 
Annoyed by his attitude, I snapped at him. One second, I got this. <laughs> I snapped at him. <laughs> you said it was important for you to have a precise understanding of their pain and suffering. And yeah, I can see how that would help you heal them. To heal a wound, you need time and proper treatment. The deeper the wound, the more time it'll take. If you're too late, it might leave a scar. Scar's development has nothing to do with timing. <laughs> um... <laughs> and I understand something like that can't be undone- You're wrong, but okay. But it hurts to watch you prod around until you find their sore spots. These people mean a lot to me. Obviously, I was interested to learn about their past. This is this. But right now, what we're doing to them it didn't even count as shock therapy. We we're just kicking them while they were down. Get the boot. Was it cool of me to only start worrying about it now after we already started? Not a. In that case, I'll let you ask the questions this time. <laughs> what? You can ask Kagi all the questions you have for him. I'll just stand there and listen. That's fair. I didn't need a mirror to know what my expression must have looked like. My jaw had dropped, and my eyes were as wide as saucers. This looked pretty derpy. <laughs> nah, that's just normal. <laughs> You're gonna step down from your role? I forced the words out. Yeah. Not at all. In fact, this will make it easier for me to carry out my duties. Yeah, because now I have somebody that they trust asking the questions. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm here beside you is proof enough of that. Yeah. But according to you, my words have the power to hurt them. So you want me to reopen their own wounds myself? At this, the wizard grinned impishly, his eyes as narrow as crescent moons. That depends entirely on you. I guess we'll see what you're made of, won't we? Sugar and bubblegum! No, we're here. He stopped and pointed. Cafe, cafe, cafe. <laughs> huh? I started the old fashioned brick building in a daze. Something wrong. For some reason, I. I feel like I know this place. It's Kaguya's workplace. You've probably been here before. But when have I ever seen it before? I felt like a perfect match to some other place from my memory, yet I couldn't recall it. Of course you know this place. Huh? This is Kaguya's workplace, is it not? Surely you've been here once or twice. Oh. Right. Meanwhile, Reiki is just like... Reality is crumbling before her. <laughs> <laughs> There's a strange discomfort in my chest. Almost as though I'd fallen down a rabbit hole. Okay, Alice. Okay, Kaguya. <laughs> no, Kaguya, the, ra the rabbit. Yeah, but Alice. I dreamed of you again last night. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard border. Wizard Let's border. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have to read anymore. Fuck you. I mean, uh. <laughs> wow. I see how it is. <clears throat> A few days had passed since she started speaking to me. She showed no signs of stopping, and I'd vaguely taken an interest in her, so I decided to set a trap. The moment she started to speak to me, I opened my eyes. 
Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh dear. He's pretending to be Kaguya. Let's go. Yep. Mm hmm. What's brought you to my room, Puppet? Smiling admirably. I spoke in an accent. <laughs> I guess you're not done reading, huh? You just want to take over already. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> Look. Kaguya? <laughs> she looked surprised. She didn't even suspect it was me. Internally, I scoffed at her. It was my first time impersonating anyone, but I had a feeling it would be easy. After all, I'd been watching them from the other side of the mirror. I knew better than anyone what they were like. <laughs> if my trick professor ever asked why it takes so long doing my homework, I'm blaming you, Relics. That's fair. <laughs> Tell your trick professor I said hi! <laughs> Slipping into a young man's room He's for a late night tryst? What a naughty girl. She stared back at me for a moment, then ran a hand through her hair to play it cool. Yeah, that's right. You're just so charming I couldn't go myself. Shameful, I know. She replied jokingly. Anyway, want to chat? Hmm? Uh -huh. Sure thing. I adapted myself to her. I had known half about her for a while, and based on what I knew, she seemed like a headstrong woman. Yeah, I, I think she figured out that it's wizard shit. <laughs> when she made that face, just like, uh. <laughs> As I waited for her to arrive, my eyes wandered over to the chessboard. The pieces had moved. At a glance, I recognized it as a chess problem that had to be solved in 11 turns, starting with the white pawn. It was slightly different from the one I knew. The white pawn's first encounter was with the black queen, yet the queen had been removed from play. I grabbed the black queen and put her back in her proper place. <laughs> at that exact moment, there was a knock at the door. I hastily returned to my desk and looked down at the textbook I'd prepared in advance. Hi. Come in. Oh, oh now is he... Oh, okay, oh, Gretel. <laughs> now you get to suffer. <clears throat> God, why, is, why does Gretel... Why does Gretel exist? <laughs> <laughs> so I've been asking the entire Gretel route. <laughs> A sister. Oh, hi, Gretel. A plate study. Eh, ma. You could say that. Oh. Are you tired? Want to rest your head in sister's lap? The way she referred to herself as sister nearly made me laugh, but I held it in. Would that be okay? Of course. She sat down on the bed and spread her arms wide. So I rested my head in her lap and closed my eyes. Say, Gretel. She stroked my hair she as she spoke. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> Look, I know she's thinking that she's talking to Gretel, but that doesn't mean it's your turn to narrate again yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yes. How long are you to keep up the act? Fortunately, my eyes were closed. Otherwise, I probably would have widened them and would have given me away. Slowly, I opened my eyes. What are you talking about? I squinted dubiously. Never mind. See, I told you, girly knows. She only has the brain cell when it comes to this man. <laughs> Maybe she was on to me. And this amused me greatly. So I came out more and more frequently, testing to see if she actually noticed. It felt like a game, and since I was hungry for a challenge, I went for it eagerly. Hey, 
Can you hear me? She crept over to me while I was lying in bed and called out to me. I can't tell who's personating this time. I know, this one's a tough one. Um, Cinderella, maybe? No, that is not Cinderella. It's not Kakua. It's not Snow either. Yeah, it's not Snow. It's like. No, I... Kakua would say pop it, Peachy. Yeah. I can hear you pop it. Yeah, it might still be Gretel. It... Yeah, it still might be Gretel, honestly. But I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of weird if it was Gretel again. It could be like a tired Alice. It could be a tired Alice, yeah. Mm. Oh well. I can hear you all right. <laughs> when she heard my brusque tone, she leapt back immediately. Alice. Alice, yeah. What the hell are you doing coming into a guy's room at night? I sat up and scowled at her. Well, you see... Are you trying to put the moose on me while I'm asleep? That's a little much, even for you. I made sure to scold her in an annoying tone of voice I can read. At first she faltered, but then she shrugged her shoulders. Sometimes us girls gotta be aggressive. Damn. She had leaned into it completely. So they were not any Are you like this with all the guys? Of course not. Just the one I love. He just did whatever I thought he would do in response. Next, he probably let an exaggerated sigh. Yeah, he would. Yeah. Are you actually mad at me? Are you just joking? Mana. Take a guess. He was trying to imitate his speech patterns. However... You're getting lazy. Huh? What? Her shoulders shook as she laughed. You're, you're good at impersonating people, but you'll never hold a candle to the real deal. Cinderella would never say that. Okay, so it was Cinderella. It was definitely Alice's voice. I think... Maybe I mean, Cinderella I, was the last with one. With some from of the mannerisms, Cinderella. like the like the sigh, I was starting to think like maybe Cinderella, but so that's not how Cinderella sounds like. Cinderella has a very different voice than Alice. Yeah, of course, but like the burst tone, the uh, the hell are you doing? We've we've seen Cinderella say hell. They do have like like their sharpness is similar. So like. Yeah. Maybe he was trying to impersonate Cinderella, or Cinderella was the last one fronting, so Rayku thinks whoever is trying to impersonate Cinderella is my guess. Oh, okay. Or what Spooky said, Rayku might be trying to trap Wizard into emitting it. There we go. Which means you're not him. It was possible she was merely bluffing. Realistically, there was no way she could tell it wasn't him based on what I said. Even he wouldn't say the same thing the same way every single time. Okay, maybe you're just doing a bad impersonation of Cinderella, wizard. I'm sorry. <laughs> he sounded like <laughs> Alice. <laughs> wow. But I decided to admit defeat. Those that on How exactly can you tell? Good question. Who knows? What about you? Why are you impersonating them? Is that a crime? Oh, I get it. This time you're Red Riding Hood. No one else has ever recognized that it was me, except for you. Of course I would recognize you. No matter what mask you wear, you're still you. In the words, you're still you, made me uncomfortable. Nobody ever knew I was in here. 
Yet, here she was, talking like she knew everything. Wait. Suddenly, she noticed something. Her gaze was fixed on the chessboard. You can play chess? I didn't know that. <sighs> Evidently, she noticed that I moved the pieces. <laughs> You're actually not all that crafty, are you? Didn't you realize I messed it up on purpose? No, I did not. In other words, I had walked right into her trap. <laughs> How do you feel? Annoyed. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, why don't we play around? It'll help you feel better. That being said, I hope you're prepared to lose. I invoke you to the Shadow Room! <laughs> <laughs> As you played, she asked me. So what's it like in the world you come from? <laughs> I just was got to do impressions, man. Cause why not? <laughs> Sobs. Does he impersonate this time snow? Maybe. Cause it's it's a very soft voice is what he's going for. Yeah. Pitch black and empty. I continue to impersonate the others. Not because I was too stubborn to let go. I just didn't know who the real me was. So you can't see yourself? Yeah. Actually, like, yeah. My body is always illuminated for some reason. Oh. Sounds like a sad, depressing place. Maybe. I'm not sure. Even you don't know. There's no way I'm going to. I mean. Also, can we just talk about like casual outfit Riku for a second? Yeah, it is cute. It's super cute. Yeah, because you're not me. Yep. The thought that I had, like, part of why it's, like, hard to recognize who's who, I think, is because it's Alice's voice actor doing all the impersonations. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Shakes him. Anyways. She murmured quietly, averting her eyes. She wasn't looking at the chessboard, but at somewhere far, far in the distance. It was amazed she had such confidence in her ability when she couldn't even stay focused on the game. Checkmate. Checkmate. Yeah, get fucked, Reiki. <laughs> As I pushed open the wooden door, a charming smile greeted me on the other side. Come on in! Oh, if it isn't popping! And Mr. Wizard as well! Hi there! What's going on, you lot? You're not on a date, are you? A date? I looked up at the wizard. I have expected a reply with some stupid joke, like, What you mean, the day of the month? Oh, he's just, he's just gonna be silent the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> no. We're not on a date. I waved a hand dismissively. What was that pause just then? No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really, now? You spoke in a flat and motionless voice. I don't know what your thinking is going on, but you're freaking me out! 
ちゃんとわかっとるで。Oh, I get it, really. You've come here with Mr. Wizard to do more investigating. Yeah, that's right. Of course, obviously. I almost added right Mr. Wizard but stopped myself. <laughs> I said that, I only make myself even look, look even more suspicious. And you're skipping class as well. <laughs> My only response is to, to his restrained fury was a dry, awkward laugh. Well, alright then. Come this way. Thank you. This is gonna suck for me. <laughs> yeah, you got this. <laughs> gonna narrate and do the only two characters gonna be talking in the scene. <laughs> As he brought us to our table, I picked up the menu and looked around at the cafe. We were the only customers in sight. Plus, because it was so early in the day. Wood grain, laminate countertops, wooden tables. The antique furnishing gave the place a pristine, old timey feel. Almost like I'd gone back in time. Strangely enough, I was somehow accustomed to it. As with the exterior, the interior felt eerily familiar to me. But why? 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 <laughs> As I agonized over it, Kaguya brought us some water. So what will you be having today, dear customers? Oh, uh... I hastily looked over the menu. Actually, I already eaten breakfast, so I was only planning to order a drink. But as it turned out, this place had a huge selection. I'll have you... <laughs> Sir, <laughs> I'll take a coffee. Across the table, the wizard stated his order. I set my menu down. <laughs> Actually, I'll have what he's having. Will that be everything then? Yeah! Alright. Just to confirm, you'll be having two coffees, yeah? Yeah! Coming right up. I'll be taking your menus now. See you in a bit. Kaguya bowed politely and then vanished into the back room of the store. Man, this is such a different Kaguya than all the ladies thirsty over him break you getting jealous from his room. Yeah, customer service Kaguya. Yeah. I watched him go. Then once he was out of sight, I turned back to the wizard. Boy, I am floundering out here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you copying me? He folded his arms as perfectly smugged, and then Reiki just goes, folds, it, folds her arms, and smugs. Do you say smirkly smugs? Smirk... I think I said smirkly <laughs> smugly. <laughs> Smirkly smugged. <laughs> Smirked smugly, I see it now. <laughs> you got this, buddy. I, I, I'm, I'm doing great. <laughs> no, I just felt like having coffee. Even I was surprised to hear just how pouty I sounded. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sparkly smugs, normal things. <laughs> yeah, sparkly smugs, you know. <laughs> At this point, I had basically admitted he was right. But the wizard didn't seem to notice. <gasps> Alright then. He shrugged. His response felt like a giant neon sign that said, I don't care. And it made my chest ache. Now it's time to get revenge on him somehow. So I guess we look like a couple, huh? Mary his posture, I folded my arms and smirked smugly. 
Well, we are about the same age. But you're in love with someone else. Eh? Indeed. And so Keeping... are you. Damn. <laughs> I could feel the smile fade from my face. He was right. I was in love with someone else. Which meant it was wrong of me to find him attractive. <laughs> Are you really that curious about it? <sighs> She's gonna see the private dick. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> well, y yes. If I'm being honest, I am. I couldn't lie, so I just decided to be honest. So there were... I'm curious about me, or curious about her. Both. I don't know why I'm so curious, but... Yeah. Ever since I first met him, the wizard had slowly started to take over my every waking thought. I wasn't sure whether he noticed. Oh, who was I kidding? It was the wizard. Of course he noticed. So true. Perhaps it's because, unlike you, I'm loyal to one person. Bitch. <laughs> Are you trying to insult me? Yeah. No. I'm just saying we're polar opposites. Oh, opposites fully attracted to Magnus. <laughs> yeah. I guess we are. Him. Loyal. Me. Fickle. If you were in my shoes, you probably would have would have chosen someone by now. He wouldn't even look at any other woman the same way he wasn't looking at me. At this point, I was starting to feel a little jealous of his special someone. Have you gone on any dates with her? Yeah. No. I lived under the same roof as her, but for the most part. You only ever played chess. The two of you were living together? You moved in with her? Something like that. Uh, oh! It sounded like a mature, adult relationship. And again, I was living with my fiancés too. I felt like I could relate. Is she good at chess? No, terrible. Very good, but I'm better. <laughs> you shot me a wink. Yeah, you're definitely a pro. I giggled. Hey. Indeed. But one day, I must have let my guard down. Because she turned the tables on me. Case. <gasps> As I said, she's a stubborn, competitive person who would do anything to win. What? So she cheated? Precisely. <laughs> but how? The chess board is so small. Wouldn't it be hard to cheat? Just that meme of like slowly eating the other person's yeah. chess pieces. <laughs> yeah, my opponent trying to figure out how he's losing, me slowly eating the chess pieces <laughs> when he's looking away. <laughs> how do you think she did it? By eating the chess pieces. <laughs> Let's see. If I was going to cheat at chess, I'd distract my opponent, then flip the board 180 degrees. That was my second thought, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you really are a lot like her. He smiled, pleased. Really? Come to think of it, you might be the first. <gasps> the first... what? The first person I have ever gone on a proper date with. It would literally be easier to eat the pieces. Well, if it's just like a board, you can flip the board. I mean, obviously, it's going to be hard keeping all the pieces there, so you kind of have to do it like either so smoothly that it does not disturb the board at all, or slow enough that you don't tip over all the pieces. 
The music cut out. I stared at him in surprise, then looked down at my hands. Oh, I see. So, I'm your first. I mumbled under my breath. In other words, he saw this as a date too. Oh! How did you do? What is it? I just realized we didn't have to come all the way out here. We could have just waited for Kanko to come home from work. I mean, true. You only now realize this. Yeah. Yeah, just now. Why did we bother leaving the house? To go on a date. To go on a date and drink coffee. Because I wanted to take you away. Huh? Take me away. Sorry for the way. Here's your coffee, dear customer. <laughs> Kaguya slammed the mug down on the table, snapping me back to reality. Uh oh. Oh, uh, th th thank you. Wizard, stop winking at me with Wacho's voice. It's. <laughs> Coffee! Green tea! <laughs> right when it was starting to feel like a shoujo manga, it turned into a love triangle from hell. <laughs> and here you are, Mr. Wizard. As he spoke, he sat down another mug. Plus... What the? I don't remember what they're getting at. Oh no! Consider it so good of my thanks for being so helpful. Bro is just saying, bro, you have bad breath. Was this his way of telling us to get the fuck out? Dark Kagu Bear had revealed himself at last. Let's go. <laughs> I see. No. Thank you kindly. The wizard casually pocketed the mitts, swallowing Kaguya's dark humor like it was coffee. Yeah, Kagu Bear. So, what do you need from me? Kaguya shrugged listlessly. Can we borrow you for a few minutes? Mm, sure, you can. You won't get busy for a few hours yet. And talking to customers is part of the job, after all. Scan the room, just in case. <laughs> sure enough, we were the only customers in sight. This actually gave me pause. Come to think of it, are you the only person here right now? Sure am. I'm still getting paid to be here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sure, whatever. I'm still getting paid to be here. Isn't it hard? Running the whole cafe? Where's your boss? Maybe you can handle it right now, but it was bound to get busier around lunchtime. Could Kagura really operate the whole store on his own? The boss? You mean your father? What? I looked at him in surprise. He frowned back dubiously. My father is your boss? Sure is. He's the man in charge around here. If my father was Kaguya's boss... Then that means he owned this cafe. Was that your only question? No, uh, let's see. I glanced at the wizard, but he simply looked back at me in silence. I shook my head and forced myself to focus on the topic at hand. Kaguya's childhood displacement. Let's go. Let's let's take a break from my internal personal dra uh, trauma to talk about yours. 
For now, any other question would have to wait. Kakua. Mm. Yeah? How did you learn you had brothers? Last time we talked, you said you were really happy to discover you had siblings. So, how did you find out? I asked as gently as possible, hoping to nudge him in the right direction without outright hurting him. When it comes to these things, Kaku is among the most intuitive of the five, so naturally he sensed what I was getting at right away. <laughs> the hunter told me. What? Hunter? My brother? Ah, uh, yeah. No, not your brother. A different bloke. A new character had been introduced to our story. <gasps> A character with no name, however. Hunter. Healer of undiagnosed neurological trauma. A doctor, in other words. But what relationship did Kaku have to this doctor? Patient. Duh. I was curious, decided to follow the flow of the conversation. When I came to live at the fifth house, a lot happened, and I ran away. Next day I knew, I was in a room with white walls. Couldn't remember who I was or where I lived. Luckily, I remember my name. I had no idea what I'd been doing before that. Then a hunter walked into my room. He told me I had four brothers that were suffering just like me. He said my brothers wouldn't hurt me. They were on my side. Asked me if I wanted to speak with them. Then I figured, yeah. If I got brothers, I may as well. So the hunter told me where I could find them, and I went. It was a world of darkness. So dark I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't tell how far I'd walked or how much time had passed. No matter where I went, the scenery around me stayed static and unchanging. Like the darkness had consumed everything. All sense of direction, even the very concept of time itself. But for some reason, I could still see myself. As I walked, I saw some other people. One, two, Three. All of them there. All of them right there in the darkness with me. And that's how I met my brothers for the first time. Wait, three? So one was missing. Who was there? Cinderella, Snow White, and Red Riding Hood, of course. One more. The fourth one, Gretel, he wasn't born yet. <laughs> so we introduced ourselves and talked about all sorts of things. Such as... Our current circumstances, what we're planning on doing next. We had nowhere to belong, nowhere to go, and no one to turn to. In the end, we decided to stay with the hunter who helped us get, get us all together in the first place. And we lived there peacefully. As long as we lived there, we had a roof over our head, we food in our bellies, nothing fun to do. We had each other, in it. So, yeah, Come to think of it, that's where I first met your brother as well. I reckon he was an intern at the time. In the beginning, the hunter was really kind to us. Over time, he got more and more snippy. 
Then after a while, the hunter stopped showing up entirely, and we never saw him again. I felt like we'd been abandoned again. Everyone always leaves us in the end. Based on what happens to the others, I'd say them is just the cards we were dealt. Then your father came to us and said we could have a look at his house. Why would a total stranger take me in when my relatives, even the hunter, threw me away? I didn't understand it. So we discussed it amongst ourselves. In the end, Cinderella turned him down on our behalf. Yes, I remember that. I was there. Yeah. Then one thing led to another, and we all got engaged to you. That was when we. That was where we first met. Redo. Then one thing led to another, and we got, all got engaged to you, and that was where we first met our younger, youngest brother, Gretel. Having finished the story, Kaguya's usual smile returned in full force. Just then the front door opened, and a group of women walked in. Kaguya! Kaguya! Oh, I've got customers. Thanks for talking to us, Kaguya! For some reason, he smiled at me for a long moment. No problem. Speaking on behalf of my me and my brothers, allow me to say this. Thank you for letting us into your heart, Papa. Are you starting to understand their feelings? <laughs> Heard the wizard's voice from somewhere behind me and came to a stop. Oh, right, I forgot you were here. <laughs> when I turned back to face him, I found him standing a few steps away. Now that we have a precise understanding of their pain and suffering, the next step is to heal them. Think about what you can do to help them, then take action. You could offer words of encouragement, or you could devote your life to them. If you truly understand them, then you'll surely know what you need to do. Thus, the first thing you must do is choose one of the five. I'm not sure we really understand. I interrupted him on purpose. What? I don't think I truly understand them. Granted, I know their history now, but you can't get to the heart of a story just by reading the synopsis. Does that make sense? Hmm. Hmm. None. Shouldn't you just pick one of them? If you narrow it down to one brother to start with, you can work your way through the rest over time. He aimed, he aimed a finger gun and fired a shot at my heart. How about it? I'm ready to make your choice. No! Cause fuck you! <laughs> Cause fuck you, wizard. I'm afraid I can't choose. He looked at me in abject annoyance. <laughs> suck it. Yes, yeah, suck it. So I kept talking. Suck it! <laughs> Do you think we could speak to that hunter? The, you know, the one Kaguya mentioned. At this, the wizard furred his brow. Oh, he is so mad. Look at his little pouty face. Yeah, look at He's just like, just choose one, bitch. <laughs> what would you ask him? Something about Kaguya's story gave me pause. Cinderella, Red, and Snow White all said their mother's attitude changed dramatically. 
And according to Kaguya, the hunter's attitude changed too. I know their mother isn't with us anymore, but that hunter should still be alive, right? Unless. Unless. If we ask my brother, I bet we could find him. He won't be of any use. What? It was his icy voice, not his comment itself that caught me by surprise. The wizard seemed to realize this too. Or at least, I, or so I think, at least, word order. Hmm. He quickly recovered his usual joking tone. Wizard's mask starting to slip, let's go. <laughs> Why is that? When I pressed him on it, believe it or not, he struggled to answer. Because... He looked at me for a long moment and said... Oh, ah, a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Where? Where? Oh, I see it! I turned around to find a lone kitten lounging on the sidewalk. Oh my gosh, it's a kitten! Mr. Wizard, it's a kitten! I was over the moon. Do you like cats? Of course I do! They're adorable! I crouched out and reached out to pet her. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! Her ears perked up. Is that how you're going to make her come to you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying. Kitty, 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 kitty. Unfortunately, the kitten lost interest in me and started washing her face instead. Rejected. If only a little treat to give her. Like a man. <laughs> I dug around in my pockets and purse, but couldn't find anything safe for a kitten to eat. Then the wizard crouched down next to me. Oide. Here, girl. Oide. Here, kitty. <sighs> the instant he reached out to her, she stopped cleaning herself and looked at him. Mr. Wizard! She's coming this way! So it seems. The kitten nestled against his head and started to purr. She really likes you. That's amazing! In contrast to my excitement, the wizard looked at the cat dispassionately. Is it? Well, cats are very cautious creatures, and this one's a stray. But maybe this one likes humans? As I spoke, I reached out to pet her, but she hissed and swatted at me. Thank you, Get fucked, Thank you. you gotta reach out the hand first and let them sniff. Then you go pet. Come on. Yeah. Nope. Guess not. Oh well. I shook my hand to mitigate the pain of the scratch. Kore... What do I do with her now? Take her home. BBQ. Meanwhile, the kitten went right back to nuzzling the wizard's hand. Not that I was super jealous or anything. <laughs> Just pet her and say, good girl, I guess? Reaches over to Reiki. <laughs> <laughs> good girl. Peachy, come get your food. <laughs> <laughs> As he shook the kitten's head, she plopped down onto the sidewalk and purred happily. She loves you! I don't understand why. I didn't do anything to her. Spooky, just to clarify, I, I love cats. They're great. They are great. Just little meow meows. Yeah, just little meow meows. They're cute, they're adorable. I caught a glimpse of his face in profile. His expression seemed a tiny bit uncertain. Mr. Wizard, haven't you ever been around a cat before? 
This is my first time. <laughs> What's so great about cats anyway? His eyes shifted in my direction. I don't know. They're nimble and fickle and surprisingly persistent. Oh, and I'm told they can pick up on human emotions and thought patterns. So basically the wizard is a cat. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's just a little meow meow. <laughs> if they sense that you're not their enemy and you won't hurt them, they'll open up to you. In other words, you're clearly a good person or else she wouldn't like you. And I must be a terrible person. The wizard smirked. No, she doesn't like you. So I suppose you must be a terrible person. I never once thought otherwise, so yeah! I smiled in spite of myself. Really? But your fiance They all seem to see you as a saint. That's because I'm a wolf in cat's clothing! Yeah. Let me see what you did there. Hehe, <laughs> some joke I know. So it's all been an act? <gasps> no, it's not an act. I'm just sort of wearing a mask to hide my true colors. So it's an act. <laughs> it's an act. I pressed a finger to my lips and winked. I'm just a skank who wants to marry a bunch of guys at once. I let out a self-deprecating laugh. Based on his behavior thus far, I expect the wizard to offer me a wry smile at most, however. No. <gasps> yosh, yosh. Good girl. Fuck, where's Peachy? <laughs> Suddenly he stroked my hair. <laughs> What what are you doing? As I yelped in surprise, the kitten jumped off his lap and scurried away. Oh, oh he scared her. <laughs> just when she was sorry. Just when she was snuggling with you too. Yeah. I don't mind. Really. The cat may be gone, but you're still here. Is that? I started to say, is that a pickup line? But stop myself. Looked like you needed some affection. Did I? Indeed you did. I could feel myself blushing. <gasps> Are you a cat? Do you like it when I pet you? I could get used to it. <laughs> I stared at the ground. Like the cat, I couldn't let my happiness show openly. But nevertheless, the wizard seemed to see right through me because he kept on petting me. This is a weird time to come out uh, with a uh, pet play. Can't break you, but okay. You know, you said you weren't sure on how your special someone felt about you. And I'm starting to think she did love you back. So this call? No. I mean, think about it. You're so charming, even cats love you. Just then, his hand fell silent. <laughs> silent. No more head pads. <laughs> And fell silent. I didn't realize his hand was making noise. Well, um, if it's brushing <laughs> hair, it's making noise. What am I going to do with you? Put her back on the street. <laughs> She's not worth it. Trust me, bro. Put her in a box. Yeah. Huh? He rose to his feet and looked down at me as I crouched beside him. The sun was in my eyes, so I shielded them with my hands. Arisujo. Lady Arisu. Uh, yes? You're talking about wearing a mask just now. Well, 
The truth is, I wear one too. Shocking. Wow. Would you like to see beneath it? Takes off his face. It's the void! <laughs> this threw me for a loop at first, but then I answered. If possible. I wasn't used to being in a submissive role. But I would rise to any challenge thrown my way. You're quite the daring person. Well then, let's go find our hunter. With that, the wizard grabbed me by the arm and hauled me up on my, onto my feet. Where did the wizard's go? wearing a mask? Shocker. <laughs> I dream of you. And he wants to play again. Oh, sorry. Trying to get me there. She smiled and nodded. Of course. I let her a small sigh. After the first time I beat her at chess, she proceeded to challenge me to a rematch every time she saw me. She stood with her hands folded behind her back, peering at me with a smirk on her face. But like I said, I can be pretty persistent. Are you really that upset I beat you? Well, yeah, I admit it. I'm a sore loser. I never knew. At the very least, I never noticed while I was watching from the other side of the mirror. On the contrary, I got the sense that she had the magnanimity to let her opponent win. I know, right? Oh, look. Look at the little eyebrow, like... Oh, um, yeah, you know. little determined face. <laughs> little determined face. Oh, it's adorable. She chuckled smugly. A wolf in cat's clothing. <laughs> what does that mean? It's my version of a wolf in sheep's clothing. It means I wear a mask to hide my true colors. Thing innocence. That kind of thing. And you wear a mask too. Don't you? I guess that makes us birds of a feather. For the first time in my life, I smiled. Maybe so. One by one, I filled out the questions on the form I received at the front desk. The first questions were pretty broad, like, what kind of symptoms do you have, and how long have you had them? But on the next page, I started asking more detailed questions about my current condition, and it was meant to circle the answers that applied to me. Then I started, at, then I started asking me about my views and feelings, almost like a personality test, and I was once again reminded of where I was. Will we really find that hunter here? Eh. Me will. According to my research, this is the place. You really do know everything, don't you, Mr. Wizard? Everything except how you tick. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't you figure me out? Because I'm not you. Damn. I giggled. Going by that logic, you'll never be able to understand anyone who isn't you. Exactly. How can I understand someone else when I don't even understand myself? Well, you can at least try to imagine it. I mean, most people have a lot of common, emotionally speaking. They enjoy pleasure and hate pain. Not unless you're the wizard. <laughs> So if you use your own experience as a guideline, and only do unto others that you would have done unto you, you can get a feel for people and their hearts. Merely imagining something doesn't make it real. All living creatures, especially humans, are isolated right from the moment they're born. 
Nothing you write on some scrap of paper will help anyone see into your heart. Hey! He snatched my form and ripped it up. Aww. We were about to get her into mental health check. <laughs> If you can't understand anyone but yourself, does that mean I'll never understand the pain and suffering of the man I love? Normally, yes. But you can understand it, and painfully well, too. <gasps> Mr. Wizard, are you? Miss Arisu, I'm ready to see you now. He's calling for you. Right. It's gonna be something about like the looking glass treatment or something like that. <laughs> the hunter was a middle-aged man with glasses and graying hair. Show us the CG. As I sat down on the stool, he looked up from the documents on his desk. Mr. Great Q Arisu, what brings you in today? I wanted to speak to you about something. What is it? <gasps> Just then, anxiety spiked in my chest and my heart raced. I barely said a word, but for some reason it felt like he was mad at me, and now I was on the verge of tears. Uh oh, start in the, start in the mirror. I, I'm sorry. I... I guess I'm a little nervous. The silence terrified me. Desperately, I searched for something to say. I tried to laugh it off, but I wasn't sure if it sounded natural. What makes you feel nervous? Well, I wasn't expecting him to ask. Instantly, my mind went blank. I needed to say something, anything, now, now, but the words wouldn't come to mind. His steely gaze made me want to bolt. According to your paperwork, it says your mind often wanders to the point that you lose track of time. Is that correct? Damn. Summon her up. He noticed me fumbling and changed his question. Y yes. I answered in a shaky voice. How long has this been happening for you? How long? I... I don't know. Ever since I can remember, I... One minute I'm at home, and then I find myself outside, or talking to someone I don't know. Do these people seem to know you? Yes. So this guy. You see. Please continue. Ah, I see. So this is like Alice talking to the doctor. And they're just kind of recreating that in the middle of the story right now. Yeah. In the process of answering his questions, my anxiety must have faded because this time my mind stayed sharp. It's okay. He's a doctor. He's used to this stuff. It's okay if I make mistakes. For some reason, it feels like I'm dreaming. I know I'm awake, but sometimes I have these strangely vivid, lifelike experiences. I know it's not real, but sometimes I feel like crying, or my chest hurts. I feel like I'm reliving my memories, but from the perspective of someone who isn't me. Almost like I'm not really Alice anymore. Alice name drop. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself in a place you don't recognize? Or find yourself injured and don't know how it happened? Yes. I see. Let me see your hand. Okay. I did as requested. He lightly slapped my palm. How is it? Did you feel that? Did it hurt? Yeah. Hmm. 
Incidentally, how do the people in your life treat you? Has anyone ever told you you're acting like a different person? Well... Have you ever felt someone watching you from a dark doorway or somewhere just out of reach? Is there a dark shadow behind you? How did he know all of that? <laughs> well, that's nice. Hi, Alice. What's wrong? Arisu. Arisu. You're hurt. We better patch you up. Arisu. Arisu. Who am I? What? Just now, in the mirror, I saw someone who wasn't me. It was me at first. The next thing I knew, it turned into someone else. The mirror didn't reflect my face. It was showing someone who looked nothing like me. And the person looked at me and told me they loved you. And that was when I realized this other person probably wants me to leave. Then after I'm gone, I'm looking to take over my happy life with you. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Someone who isn't me lives inside me, using my body, pretending to be me. And when I'm in control, they spy on me from the darkness. Oh, hi, wizard. Arisu, am I really me? Because I'm not sure I am. I mean, think about it. How can anyone prove whether the person you're talking to right now is really me? Maybe the real me is the one who isn't me at all. I'll always be on your side, and I'll always believe in you, even when you don't believe in yourself. Because I love you. Arisu. I'm sorry. I can't tell if you're actually talking to me or not. I, I can't even be sure that you love me. Are you so? I'll never forget the pain I saw in your eyes. Arisu-san. Miss Arisu. Huh? Are you alright? You were staring into space. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Sorry. I let out a sigh. Once again, I've been caught zoning out like a total space case. I was definitely awake, yet I keep having these strange, strangely vivid lifelike experiences. Weird. It was kind of like narcolepsy. Except it felt all fuzzy and surreal. Almost like a dream. So, what was it you wanted to ask me? The hunter furrowed his brows at me. Definitely, he saw me as one of his patients. Well, you see, um,. I'm Ryoshi Arasu's younger sister. Ah, nah, yes, him. At the mention of my brother, the tension faded from the air. <laughs> Would you like me to call him over so you can speak to him? Oh no, that won't be necessary. Do you know four brothers named Cinderella, Snow White, Red Riding Hood, and Kaguya? At this, the color drained from his face. Yes, and they came here in the past. What of it? Could you tell me why? 
This is a mental health facility, right? What business do they have here? Traumatically losing their mother, if nothing else. Hello? Yeah. They were my patients, obviously. What? Just when I finally feel- when I was finally feeling calm, my heart started to race all over again. They were his... Patients? Dun dun dun... Of course they were. I should have known. I first heard of them when I was contacted by his orphanage. He had a history of running away from the facility, and every time they brought him back, he acted as though he had no memory <laughs> What business is the extremely traumatized siblings have at the mental health facility? No we will never man. know. <laughs> Naturally, it is unheard of for children to lie. Classic attention-seeking behavior. Chokes this guy out. <clears throat> but his circumstances were a little different. Most notably, it was in the way he spoke. One minute he'd have a British accent, the next he act like a little prince or clam up entirely. And that wasn't all. His skills, habits, preferences, knowledge, it all fluctuated, and abnormally fast. Each time it happened, he got off entirely different vibes, like he's a whole new person. <laughs> Why is Alice the British accent so funny? Because it is. <laughs> it is. Actually, fun fact about DID, apparently there's been like studies of like doing brain scans, and like, Depending on who's fronting, different parts of the brain light up, which is neat. Oh, that's super interesting, though. Yeah. Science. That's crazy. I love it. Mm-hmm. When I heard that, I knew in my heart that he probably had brothers. <laughs> so I had to bring him here, and we spoke. He didn't seem to know about his brothers at all. But I saw them with my own two eyes. I don't know why I'm laughing at this. Um, <clears throat> I personally met Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, and Kaguya. At first I thought there were four in total, but later I would learn about the existence of a fifth. Snow! Snow White, I mean. He was a bit of a special case. Your brother was the one who clued me in about him. Evidently, he met Snow White purely by chance. As I got to know them, I realized that none of them knew about each other. So I suggested they all get together and talk it out. I wanted them to come to terms with the situation and come up with a plan for the rest of their lives. That being said, although they were brothers, they weren't guaranteed to get along. I wasn't sure it would work out. Fight, 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 <laughs> fight. But fortunately, the worst case scenario never came to pass, and they all reached an agreement. Then, after a long talk, they decided to stay with me. I wanted to believe I did everything I could for them. He's so young. He's got the rest of his life ahead of him. At his age, he ought to have all kinds of hopes and dreams. But he doesn't. Because of his brothers, he lives a hard life. At this rate, he was going. He was on the verge of a breakdown. And I wanted to avoid that at all costs. Through our conversations, we build a foundation of trust. I wanted them to achieve physical, emotional, and societal stability. I probably cared more passionately for them than any of my other patients. As I spoke to them, I got the distinct sense that they were all flawed individuals. Trauma does that to a person. Yeah. 
They each had their own separate memories and their own deep trauma. Make me pancakes, Spooky. Yeah, you should make pancakes for me, actually, since I can't do that. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. Make a small pancake in honor of Relix. <laughs> Send a picture of it to the food channel in the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so I attempted to heal them, one by one. Unfortunately, this proved fruitless, and their hearts remained closed off. <laughs> I'll dedicate the sacrificial pancake to Relix, let's go. <laughs> the sacrificial pancake, let's go. It's the one that's like right at the end of the batter. It's not enough for a full pancake, you just make it because it's like... Well, we're gonna throw a toss at the batter anyway. Yep. <laughs> See if anybody eats it. I was trying to lose my patience. And that you lose your patience. Ha! <clears throat> ha! Doctor joke! <laughs> their symptoms didn't worsen, but nor did they improve. I would have liked at least one of their brothers to take charge, but none of them could. You're thinking of the first one that doesn't cook quite right because the pan was never as hot as you think it is. Ah. Uh. Oh, that one too. Yeah. I could see that one being the sacrificial pancake. Doctor joke. Hmm. Did I read this? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Cinderella was the most sightly candidate, as the oldest brother, but he had his own problems. True. Cinderella is a real piece of work. The next best candidate was Snow White, but he was asleep. And go Hongshu Mimi. Hongshu. It was then that I decided to create another brother. You can't just do that another to a brother. system. You can't just force a system to make another altar. That's fucked up. <laughs> True. Week. But at the same time, who did he create? The wizard, probably. Did he create Kaguya? No, because Kaguya existed at the orphanage, and then was, oh, yeah. yeah, it was the wizard. So, so he created Wizard. Wizard. And the cat took my chair. Well, it's there. It's their chair now. Yep, Spooky. it's the cat's chair now. Yep. One with no flaws, but all the knowledge and memories of the other brothers. One that could endure the pain. You create a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> so I put him under hypnosis and spoke to his subconscious mind. Yay, hypnosis. And that was how I successfully created the sixth brother. Brother, I can... <laughs> the, the sixth brother? <laughs> brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> what I created was defective. <laughs> I wonder why, Doctor. <laughs> Defective. Yes, the sixth brother was in empty shell. No emotions, completely numb. Cool. Can I ask one last question? What is it? Why did you distance yourself from them? The hunter looked down at the medical documents inside. I'm just realizing the, this guy is breaking Kippa. Hundred <laughs> percent. But it's okay because it's probably all in a dream world anyway. So. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> because I was tired. Yay. Much as I hate to admit it, talking to my patients had become a chore. In this line of work, no person's suicide attempts are common. To your job better, I don't know, man. Some are kept in isolation, but nevertheless, we're still required to interact with them. When I was younger, I gave it everything I could, but I'm not that young anymore. Me too, buddy. Same. I tried my best, but I couldn't fully heal them. When you get older, you just get tired. Uh, I'm still reeling from- yeah, so I decided to make another brother. Like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And eventually, I started to blame myself for the lack of progress. It's silly, isn't it? 
It's my job to help people. Yet there I was, wishing someone would help me. And then Ryushi comes right in through that door. <laughs> By the time we left, it was already dark outside. The sixth brother he mentioned. He wasn't talking about Gretel, was he? Good job, Ricky. No, Gretel has emotions. Too many, actually. Yeah, too intense. He needs to <laughs> chill. I mean, it doesn't make sense chronologically. Gretel didn't meet the other brothers until after he arrived at my house. Good job, Ricky. I glanced at the wizard beside me as I spoke. So this man. Yeah. As usual, he commented in an absent voice that suggested he didn't really care. The full moon was nearly upon us, yet he didn't seem worried in the least. Cause he sent the letter. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking back, he never seemed to show any interest in me, right from the start. Maybe he only saw me as a worthless pawn. You know, it's funny. I never knew they had any other brothers. So I guess there's seven in total? I wonder what happened to the other two. So, meets me. You're just gonna keep being evasive, aren't you? I stopped short and watched him walk off ahead of me. As a pawn, I could only move forward. But being a pawn had its advantages too. And funnily enough, it sounds like the sixth brother was evading the hunter too. The, the wizard stopped and turned back to look at me. <laughs> He smiled like he was hiding something. His amber eyes reflected the abyss within. Show me your abyss, sir. A pussy. Yeah. Mr. Wizard, why do you love her? Another question about her. Yep, another question. Call me annoying if you like, but it's bugging me. I want to know more about this woman, who captivated an oddball like you. So explain yourself. Tell me why you love her so much. He must have sensed the determination in my eyes because he let out a breath and his defiant smirk softened. She gave me a role. She was the only one who needed me. It was going to disappear. And then she saved me. That's all there is to it. I don't care if she was just manipulating me to make use of my skills, or if she had some other objective. If she achieves her ends and finds she doesn't need me anymore, then so be it. I don't care if she kills me, I would die for her. That is the love I have for her. Love is blind, I suppose. I envy the way she's managed to get you to commit your whole life to her. The Japanese word... Chusei. Loyalty came to mind. He had pledged his love to her, and now he's completely dedicated to her cause. Do you miss her? Eh. Yes. Well, of course I miss her. But I can't be with her. Why not? She's not dead, is she? There's a wedge between us. What sort of wedge? One of my romantic rivals. At first he sounded like he was joking, but I could hear hostility behind those words. Then his expression shifted. More importantly, tomorrow's the big day. Ah shit! Right, full moon. 
Just like that, he went back to normal. Right. If I don't choose my future husband by tomorrow, I'm gonna die! Are you prepared? No! Silently, I started walking again. I'll take that as a no. What about you? Have you figured out who the culprit is? Not a clue, I'm afraid. Wow, this detective's kind of useless. <laughs> as I passed him, I reached into his pocket and pulled out the blackmail letter. <laughs> Sucker. I wonder what he was feeling. He wrote this to me. Oh? Probably hurry up and pick someone, right? If so, then maybe you never stood to gain anything from this blackmail, or blackmail at all. I figured whoever sent this letter must clearly want something, but he didn't want anything at all. He only did it because his beloved, co his beloved commanded him to. Sounds like a sheep. <laughs> sheep. Maybe that's his most defining trait. Sheep. No, I, I took this conversation as Reiki knows who the culprit is now. Yeah. It's like, reaches into his pocket to pull out that letter, and then just like, the, the immediate sentence after that, if you could scroll up. Uh, it's, I think it's above still. So like, I wonder what he was feeling when he wrote this to me. Like the it, the, and like the use of the word he in the first instance there, is like she has an idea, of who it is. I will also throw out the only possible options are male. So, like I think you are right, but not for like the reason you're providing. <laughs> well, we. So the the main thing I'm thinking. Well, the main thing that that's been portrayed as the entire thing is like, it's either one of the brothers or it's someone outside of the brothers. Like we think the brothers are the most likely candidate, and now we just found out about like this secret six brother, you know? I guess. So it's like, okay, Ray, I think Ricky's starting to piece together like, okay, there's a six brother out there. He wants me to pick one of the other five, but for no reason whatsoever. Just the one pancake. Just a little. All right. Let's keep going. I looked up at him. Is he really even looking at me? How do you think he'll feel if he has to kill me? Well, we already know. Sana. Pretty empty. Hard to say, really. Uh, he'll feel like it's his job. He'll do it anyway. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if it was you? Hypothetically speaking, of course. Hmm. See, girly got the brain cell. Yep. He paused for a moment. Kawaii Pity. Or something like that, I figure. <laughs> Not that I want to put myself in the shoes of a criminal. He's already done it multiple times. Yep. <laughs> That's a relief. Is it? Yeah, you see? I'm planning to find my answer by tomorrow night. So this Right. You still have time. Just think it over. I will. From there we went back to my house. I spent the final hours lost in thought. <laughs> I've been dreaming of you. One day, she begged me to tell her how the other personalities came to be and what lives they've been living. She listened quietly as I told her. Every now and then she furrowed her brow, but she never got weepy or angry. This surprised me. I knew she liked them, so I figured she would take pity on them and start crying or something. When I finished the story, she let out a breath. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I heard bits and pieces, 
that was my first time hearing the story in full detail. Thanks to you, I have a slightly better understanding of them now. All I did was answer your question, that's all. I continue to hide behind my mask. I have retrieved, uh, received pancake words. Yes! Hand pancake delivered. Obtained. Hand delivered. Get the, get the air raid hype. One second, do we have a do we have a button for this? Uh, I don't know what Maybe? you're talking about. Oh, I got, I got, I got one. Quack! <laughs> Quack! We could have also done, um, let's see, where is it? <laughs> was that from the soundboard on Discord? Yeah, it was. Damn! <laughs> I didn't realize we had that. Oh, we do. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, hiding behind mask. It was comfortable back here. And I had started thinking, maybe it'd be fun to make it permanent. Yeah, I know. But I appreciate you responding to me. Her stony expression finally softened. But then it hardened again as she peered into my eyes. Isn't it hard for you? Why no, would it be? Well, you have all their memories, don't you? I mean, yeah. You carry all the painful memories the others couldn't bear. You, you, yet you act like it's no big deal. Well, what choice do I have? I was told to do this. I was built to be resistant to the pain, to be numb. And because of that, I never once pitied any of them. That said, perhaps that was only natural, since I was originally meant to kill them if necessary. Oh. By whom? And the quack who created me. He's clearly different from the other personalities. He remembers almost everything. He's got all of their knowledge and none of their flaws. He's the closest match to the original. So yeah. I looked at her and found myself lost for words. Tears stream Someone just drugged our girly, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Tears streamed down her face and fell to the floor. Why are you crying? I was so startled. I forgot to impersonate anyone. Because I feel so bad for you. I never felt pain, but evidently she could feel mine. Empath, empath, empath. <laughs> <laughs> From there, I continued to wait until the other personalities were asleep, and then slip out of the looking glass world to visit her. At first, she and I rivaled each other at chess, but before long, I started to beat her more and more often. She was a sore loser, so every time it happened, she would demand a rematch, and that also kept her coming back. Then one day, I noticed she was feeling down. All through her chess match, there was no trace of her usual energy. It was like her mind was somewhere else. <clears throat> How's he been lately? She murmured as she moved her white pawn. Which one? Well... She faltered. I knew exactly what had happened to her. After all, I could access everyone's memories. But I felt this strange discomfort in my chest, so I asked her anyway. Arise. Arise. I walked up in front of her, grabbed her by the shoulders, and pushed her down onto the floor. Hello. At You're least supposed he's to do the that bed. on the wall. <laughs> Wizard. Wall. Then I pressed my lips to hers. I forced my tongue into her mouth. Damn, okay, buddy, you chill. Damn. I ravaged her, and she didn't stop me. 
After and a that's when Gretel into existence. <laughs> After a long, long kiss, she looked at me calmly. Hmm. That's strange. You don't seem any happier. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to make her happy? What the fuck? <laughs> what? You were trying to cheer me up? Of course. Gretel. I know about it, you know. After all, I've got everybody's memories. Cinderella. I am them, and they are me. And you told me that you loved me. Red Riding Coon. You're amazing, Arisu. You refunded all of them by putting them the mask they each wanted you to wear. It's no way. Naturally, I figured I'd try it myself. So I put on a mask to be whatever you fancied. Kaguya. Who do you want? Cinderella or Snow White? I switched through all of them in turn. Until finally. Or perhaps Alice. Smacks him! <laughs> Just say the word, and I can promote myself to any piece on the board. Stop! For the first time, she rejects me. Were my impressions really that bad? I'm a failure. Defective. Just like he said, I have no defining identity. Even though he made me this way on purpose. But it's no use. Try as I might, you always see right through my act. I guess I really am a failure. You don't understand at all, do you? Obviously. She gave me a pitying look. Hmm? Hmm? I looked at her dubiously as I waited for her to continue. No matter what mask I wear, I'm still me. Is it that really that strange to put an effort to get someone to, you like to like you back? I'm not sure. Think about it. At her command, I nodded on reflex. Okay then, I'll think about it. With that, I started to move off of her. But her eyes, her lips, she wouldn't let me go. No, shall we continue? Personally, I'm fine either way. I smiled faintly. I was acting confident, but it was really just a bluff. After all, if this was a game, then I wanted to win. She stared at me, unblinking. Then, after a long moment, her glistened lips slowly moved. If you don't have anything, you can't. then you can have me. But in return, I want you. You're my property. You're gonna make all my desires and demands a reality. Who died and made you, Queen? Touche. You can turn me down if you like. Yeah. No, no I won't. I'm at your disposal, Your Majesty. The sweet, intoxicating warmth spread deep in my chest. Numbing my senses. I leaned in and kissed her again. Dun dun dun! Reiki was the evil queen. Wow! Who would have thought that? <laughs> and so I stopped wearing a mask around her. I had only impersonated the others to mess with her. Now that she knew my true identity, I realized, belatedly, that there was no point in maintaining the facade. As usual, when I next appeared before her, we played chess. You know that pitch black world you guys live in? Nope, not at all. The void? <laughs> you think maybe 
Maybe it's sort of like a dream? She murmured quietly as she looked at the chessboard. Once again, I was slowly closing it on her white king. I read that in most cases, the people and places that appear in your dreams are taken wholesale from your past. In response to internal and external stimuli, and the emotional responses caused there thereof, memories are replayed from mental storage, and our brains invent a narrative to go along with it. Maybe this way, I can finally make a difference. Ew. What do you mean? Well, maybe I can save my prince. Her prince, she said. And she didn't mean me. Hey. She looked up and locked eyes with me. Then, out of nowhere, her face filled my vision. Oh. Mm. Oh, there we go. I could feel her damp breath against my lips. Revenge kissing. <laughs> her crystalline eyes reflected someone who wasn't me. They were so beautiful, they fanned the flames of my lust until I was desperate to steal her from myself. Check me! I win! <laughs> she pulled away from me with a smirk. She had spun the board around. Damn! Now she was black and I was white. Iko samada. You cheated. As I stared in shock, she shot me a wink. I'll do anything it takes to win. <laughs> that was a smart move. Let us explain how she managed to get away with spinning around the board if they were busy kissing. Yeah, that does. Oh, now he's in his wizard garb. Let's go. Yeah, he's in his inner world. Then, a few days later, I suddenly found myself unable to travel to the other side of the mirror. <sighs> it's no use. Dameda. You won't wake up. What a hopeless little king. Or prince, I suppose. None of the other characters noticed. Like the prince, they were all asleep. They were all so delicate and fragile and traumatized. And EB. <laughs> All alone in a world of darkness. This was the way they were born. Where they jumped down through the looking glass. So, now tell me. What's your name? What's your name? Answer me. Alistair. It's no use. The project is a failure. He's trying to create a unified personality to serve as a new replacement for the original. He's clearly different from the other personalities. He remembers almost everything. Almost everything. He's got all of our knowledge and none of their flaws. He's the closest match to the original. So why isn't it working? Stupid failure. Don't you think that's a little harsh? He can't hear me anyway. Mm. He has no emotions. He's completely numb. This concludes today's treatment. But... I have many other patients who need my help. I can't afford to spend all my time dealing with him. What's your plan for him going forward? What do you mean? The real him or the empty husband? The problem will solve itself. Once he grows weaker, he'll stop showing himself. But then he'll be absorbed into one of the other personalities. As for the boy himself, 
hate to say it, but I think it's best we give up on unifying his personalities. The burden on him would be too large. I've done all I can. He was just not suited for the role. But we... I'm not Alistair. I thought I was just a pawn. Flawless and invincible. As one who could shoulder all their pain without batting a lash, I alone was fit for the king's throne. And besides, if this world was a dream, and I knew it to be so, then I had total command of the playing field. Just like a queen. In that case, all I needed to do was hunt down the king and checkmate him. As I contemplated this, I heard a familiar voice in the darkness. Can you hear me? It's her. Can you hear my voice? Yes, don't worry. I hear you, loud and clear. Why? Her voice was trembling. I thought back to her tears, the tears only I knew. What about you? Why are you crying? Please, wake up. Alistair. After I was trapped in the Looking Glass world, I realized. As the all-powerful wizard, I was a pawn who could never become a king. Once again, I could hear her voice through the cloudy mirror. Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? Yes, I hear you. I have a favor to ask. Something only you can do. Mr. Wizard. That was when she called my name for the first time. Let's pretend we're kings and queens. Let's play pretend. I'll. <laughs> One second. I'll be the Ohima song. I know this word, but I. <laughs> Ohime sama? Yeah, Ohime sama. Yeah. I'll be the Ohime sama. And you'll be the. I do not know this one. Mahosukai. <laughs> Mahosukai. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Every time, the every time the wizard comes to the screen, that's the word that he yells. Yep. <laughs> and you'll be the Mahasukai. Not king and queen. I've already picked a setting, too. It's set in the Licking Glass world, where everything is topsy-turvy. Admit a colorful cast of gender flipped fairy tale characters. I'll take on the world of the heroine and join them in their twisted tales. How will the story end? It's up to me. Since there's no script, even I don't know what will happen. But I know what I want the ending to look like, and that's all that matters. You see, I really love happy endings, but you knew that, didn't you? News to me. <laughs> you see, the wizard has a very important world role. Sometimes, uh, excuse me. Let me try that again. You see, the wizard has a very important role. Sometimes an ally, sometimes an enemy, the bearer of great and mysterious power. Tonight. So, in other words, you want to use me like a pawn. You'll be the little pawn who keeps the story moving. And when I mess up, I want you to kill me. Yeah. 
The story can only have one heroine. Otherwise, they'll veer off track. So you'd have me undo the mistakes? He's a cake for a guy like you, right? As you wish. After all, you're my strongest piece. But of course, I am your wizard. Wizard! <laughs> If you so desire, your majesty, I shall become one of her pieces you need. Queen, Rook, Bishop, or Knight. I would do anything if it meant she needed me. She was the white pawn, always moving forward. Sometimes I would clear her path, and other times I would block it. That was my duty, but also my aspiration. Now then. Let the story begin. <sighs> Look at that little smile. He just wanted to be useful. <laughs> After I woke from the dream, I stepped outside for some fresh air. A waxing gibbous moon hunted a pitch black sky. That looks pretty full to me. It's not full yet. It's the night before, Sakyo. <laughs> that looks full to me. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell the art directors. Um, <laughs> lovely moon tonight, right? So this, man. Indeed. I looked over my shoulder. In place of a greeting, the wizard shrugged at me. Sate. <laughs> now then, Lady Arisu, how about it? Ready to make your choice? We were both sick to death of this conversation. Looking back, it was a fitting metaphor for our relationship. Going in circles, detective and clients. Not too. I had hired him to gather intel on the men I love. Cinderella, Snow White, Red Riding Hood, Kaguya, Gretel. For the past few days, I had dug deep into their brotherly ties and old trauma, knowing full well that it would hurt them. Or maybe I only barely scratched the surface. They were fragile, flawed creatures, eternally, eternally agonizing over things that happened in their past. I totally personally so, read pasts as pasta for a split second. <laughs> <laughs> what, you read, them as pa you read it as pasta? Yeah, just for a split second. It happened in the rigatonis. <laughs> They were lost in a world of darkness, waiting for someone to find them. And now I knew the truth. It was time to lay my feelings aside and put an end to the story once and for all. Are you finally prepared to choose someone? Now, this doesn't say one of the brothers. Do the other ones say them? Yeah, the other, the other one said, are you ready to choose, like the man you love or like the brother or something like that let's see okay it's like will you choose one of them one of yeah them. yeah yeah will you choose one of the brothers yeah are you finally prepared to choose someone i think we say yes here anyway yeah focus <laughs> focus ready to choose someone? are you yes was your answer yes. correct okay let's go in yes yes i choose pikachu Wizard comes and just stabs her. In the end, we failed to learn the truth before the night of the full moon. What if we actually got the good ending first try for once? That'd be hilarious, that actually. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Seeing as the blackmail letter specified the moon, I figured they probably knew wait until night to try anything. Trembling in fear of my intimate demise, I headed to the living room. I choose the wizard! <laughs> when I arrived, I found it very quiet. Wizard's going to pop up in a wizard outfit. Oh, you picked the wrong path! <laughs> I had entered this room hundreds of times, yet it suddenly felt foreign to me. Frightened, I headed for the front door. I glanced around. The spacious entryway. Luxurious chandeliers, 
The house is built like a castle. And while it was all familiar to me, for some reason I couldn't remember the exact layout. Why? I ran around to each room, scouring every inch. The more I ran, the more foreign everything started to feel. I couldn't find Cinderella, or Snow White, or Red Riding Hood, or Kahua, or Gretel. I felt as though I was the only one living here, almost like they vanished into thin air. Hello? Anybody? Cinderella? Only now, during this crisis, did I finally realize how I felt. It was too late now. Some time later, the sun's rays faded and night began to fall. Darkness devoured all the world's colors. Sweat trickled down my back as I felt something swiftly approaching. In the distance, I could hear footsteps. I ran in the direction of the sound, but couldn't find anyone. In the distance, I could hear a voice. I ran in the direction of the sound, but couldn't find anyone. In the distance, I could hear sobs. I charged head first in the direction of the sound. Straight forward, without even glancing left or right, almost like I had tunnel vision. I ran. And ran. And ran. And by the time the sounds were finally gone, I had arrived at the front door. I glanced over my shoulders. Through the window at the top of the stairs, I could see the full moon hanging in the sky. It was a, it's a full moon. I knew it would be a full moon tonight, but it felt like it was rubbing its presence in my face. To rake you, Arvasu, on the next full moon, I will take your life. Only one thing will save you. Choose one of the five brothers to be your husband. Cinderella? Snow White, Red Riding Hood, Kagua, or Gretel. I hadn't chosen any of the five. Let's go. And I hadn't found the culprit either. My fate was sealed. With my doom hurtling towards me, all I could do was stare up at the moon as it gazed down at me from the safety of the sky. I'm sorry. It's you. The next instant. I felt a hard impact against my skill, and sparks flew behind my eyelids. Then my field of vision hitched sideways. Blunt force trauma. Bonk. We. Bonk. <laughs> huh? Oh, wait, you. Oh, suddenly you find yourself lost in a world of darkness. Oh, here we go. Where am I? I keep walking and walking, but I can't seem to find a single exit. It's so dark. I can't see a thing. I can't even tell how far I've walked or how much time has passed. What is it like you fail our wizard route, it just puts you right back at the beginning, and then you just go through the wizard route again? That would be kind of funny, but also annoying. Yeah. No matter where you go, the scenery around you remains static and unchanging. It's like the darkness has consumed everything. All sense of direction. Even the very concept of time itself. For you to stand perfectly still and hold your breath, the only sound would be that of your own heartbeat. What am I doing here? 
Who am I? But no one was there to answer me. There was only darkness and nothing more. I don't know. I don't know anything. Nope. Fairy tales mark the end. We got a bad ender. <laughs> cool. So, obviously go back to that last question and hit no this time. The failed heroine Cinderella story to the end, what? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, let's hit no. No. I slowly shook my head. So this I see. I had a dream. In the dream, I was the wizard reflecting on the past. In the dream, I didn't realize that I was me. But when I awoke, I was Reiku Arasu. Was I really Reiku Arasu? Dreaming I was the wizard? Was I actually the wizard? Dreaming that I was Reiku Arasu? What was reality? It turned out the same, whatever the case. During the dream, I had learned of the lizard's, wizard's pain. And now that the dream was over, I found I loved him dearly. Enough of this, Reiku Arasu. I know what you're trying to do. But I'm him, and he is me. And although you are me, I'm still me. So now it's my turn. In the end, you still can't choose. Do you want to die? Of course not. But I refuse to be anyone's pawn. And that's why you refuse to cho choose, Theba. <laughs> you must be dumber than I thought. I mean, it's the way you're just going to die anyway. And once you're dead, it's game over. <laughs> bad. It's a bad ending. Uh, I didn't realize the text loaded, so I just heard him say bad endo. Uh, <laughs> bad endo. <laughs> bad endo da. That's why you came for me. You're the one who sent the blackmail letter. Isn't that right, Mr. Wizard? <gasps> yes, that's right. Why would you do this? To force you to choose, duh. Yeah, of course. Because I wanted to guide you to a happy ending with one of them. But you failed. How unfortunate. Anytime I fail, I can simply try again. Spoken like a true anime villain. <laughs> and then what? Force another happy ending? Sounds like a crappy story. <laughs> I'm not the storyteller. I'm merely an actor. Right. The storyteller is someone else. About your special someone, I think I know her. Hmm. Yes, you do. She's a cruel person, just like you said. She uses people like pawns, anything to achieve her goal. And her goal is to heal the man she loves. Her thoughts have only ever been of him. She is utterly hopeless, but for some reason, I can relate. <gasps> Wizard! <laughs> Enough. I was willing to wait for you to make your choice. But if you can't do it, then I have no need of you. Is that your actual character? Yeah. No. 
I have no set characteristics beyond what immediately serves the plot. My name is the wizard. You see, my, na my name is the wizard. You have killed my father. <laughs> You see, the wizard has a very important role. Sometimes an ally, sometimes an enemy. The bearer of great and mysterious power. Are you gonna kill me? Because I couldn't heal anyone? No, because you couldn't pick anyone. Get it right. Oh. Yes, I am. Oh. I will kill you. And then someday. She'll kill you back? Ah, yes, so that. that's right. That is my love story. And it's the role she wants me to play. Ooh, a lot of good choices for thumbnails. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to struggle. Aren't you afraid of dying? Of course I am. I'm not afraid of you. Hey. No, really. You're not gonna ask me why that is? Nope. That doesn't matter to me. Gotcha. That's a shame. Okay, then. Let me ask you. Why do you think she'll kill you? Because she loves someone else. Alistair? Correct. I'm impressed. Where did you learn that? I saw it in a dream I had. A dream in a dream. I suppose you know everything. Not everything. No. Just large swaths of important memories. Thanks to that, I've realized what I need to do. The role I was given. You are Father Sharp. Alistar. He is the almighty creator of this dream world, isn't he? Ah, yes. That's right. As you know, this world is a dream. His dream. And we are merely characters within it. Here in the dream, we have bodies of our own. But when we awaken and return to reality, we remain inside Alistair's head, attached to Alistair's body, trapped in Alistair's life. We have no identities of our own. After all, we are simply his personalities. Dissociative Identity Disorder, or TID for short. Let's go. Correct. Alistair was weak of heart. He dissociated his escape from the tragedies inflicted upon him. The first character he created was Cinderella. Abandoned by his father, he went from a life of privilege to a life of poverty, and he hated it. The second was Snow White. His mother loved princesses, and he wanted her to love him too. The third was Red Riding Hood. His mother tried to keep him locked up, but he yearned for the outside world. The fourth was Kaguya, created to help him endure the abuse from his relatives. All of them were pissed around fairy tale characters, his mother's influence at work, I imagine. Each of them looked at their circumstances and named themselves after the fairy tale character that fit best. And after that, the fifth to be created was me. But I was a bit of a special case because Alistair wasn't the one who created me. Are we to give the wizard a name? Maybe. 
Remember the hunter you spoke with. Remember what he said. I am the perfect amalgamation created by that same psychologist. Sir, this is all very tense and everything, but you are wearing a silly wizard hat and it's clashing with the vibe. You're not looking into his eyes deep enough, Peachy. <laughs> 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 My role was to unite the others so that Alistair might live a normal, healthy life. To that end, I was given everyone's memories and made numb to the pain. So a psychopath. <laughs> According to the doctor, I was perfect. He said I was the closest match to the original personality. Then the doctor asked me for my name. He wanted me to say Alistair. But I couldn't answer. After all, I wasn't really Alistair. And so, as a result of my silence, the doctor deemed me a failure. Well, at least he's honest. I mean... Oh, she's crying. She does it a lot. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I feel so bad for you. That's what she said, too. Don't feel sad. For the record, I don't resent the doctor. If anything, I'm grateful to him. Without him, I wouldn't exist. <laughs> None of them do any fucking crying. It's just like, well, <laughs> Selma's gotta do your emotional processing for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dolphin crybaby joke to be made here, also true. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh. Without him, I wouldn't have met Reiki Arisu. Abandoned by his attending physician, Alistair was brought to the Arisu estate. And that's when you, or all of you, Met Riku Arasu? Yep. As I'm sure you can guess, it was then that Gretel was created. He was born of an inferiority complex from the seemingly perfect Riku Arisu. Damn, that sucks, man. Riku Arisu made every attempt to make us feel at home. She adapted herself to our interests and preferences, almost so we would like her. She tried to understand us more than anyone else. But she failed, huh? Ah, yes, she did. Reiki Arisu failed to achieve a precise understanding of our, no, there pain and suffering. No, 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 go back. Go back. Go, go, go back, wizard. Go back to R. <laughs> oh, okay. I was confused. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> no, no. Wizard, wizard needs to back up. He's also hurting. <laughs> he doesn't feel it, so is he really hurting? So, say I don't have feeling in my hand. I can still burn my hand, Sakyu. Yeah, but you don't feel the pain. Yeah, but I can still cause physical pain to it. I can still cause physical damage to it. So even that, even though I can't feel it, it's still a type of pain. But like pain is a feeling. You can cause damage, but like the pain itself is the feeling. But pain is in a is a response in order to avoid more damage. Yes, but if you don't feel pain, then there is no pain. If you don't feel sad, then there is no sadness to be had. Like, it's a feeling, not it. Yeah. 
<laughs> the tree falls and no one's around to hear it. Yeah. <clears throat> it still falls. Yeah. But it didn't make like, a noise, did it? It still makes a noise, just nobody's around to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a dumb question. Anyways. And that applied to the main personality, Alistair, too. Yeah. Then he went down the rabbit hole into the glass looking glass world. <laughs> glass looking world. Because hmm. we dragged him in there. <laughs> yup. Multiple times. And what a hassle it's been for me. Cut off from the real world. I could no longer see my beloved. But that applied to Reiki Arisu too. In her grief, she hatched a ridiculous plan to create a new personality inside Alistair named Reikyu Arisu. Then, she would use her as a conduit in order to speak to us from the real world. You're gonna say? Yeah, she she took a she took a play out, she took a page out of uh, Hunter's playbook. <laughs> Let's just make another personality. I'll oh, fix things. Fucking call that Ricky was in our altar. It makes sense because like she is able to not only process their trauma, but like she also has like visions and dreams of their trauma too. So it's like it makes sense. She's inside the system. Yeah. It is interesting though that she's like an introject, but like Alistair didn't come like pick her to be part of it. Like it was Reiki's idea, which is interesting. Yeah, it is. The real Reiki like said, "Hey, there's gonna be a personality in there, and I'm gonna import. I'm gonna just put my will and my wishes into them. But then they'll have all this mem, all these memories of the trauma from Alistair, and that is the best way to resolve this." Actually, thinking about it, maybe the wizard kind like. Reiki told a wizard her idea, and the wizard made her. Oh yeah, wizard yeah. wizard definitely helped with the creation. I mean, she literally says, "Hey, I need help, and you're the only one that can help me." Yeah, because you have a unique perspective on all of this. Mm -hmm. And more probably, we see the scene where like the wizard has created the Reiki altar inside of Alistair. Kind of, yeah. You know the whole CG with like the crown and shit. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So we, we saw the creation. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You are a character, Reikyu Arisu, created in order to rescue her prince from the looking glass world. Your existence is based on Alistair's memories of her, plus the real Reikyu Arisu speaking to us from the real world. You're nothing but a clone. <gasps> we were never real. <laughs> <laughs> I say what you want me to say, but my thoughts are Riku Arasu's words. So what does that make me? An interject. <laughs> Upon. You're a canary in the coal mine. You are her puppet. She created you, and she controls you. At the story's branching points, you make choices and progress to the happy ending. One wrong choice, and you're disposed of. Yeah, we got the message after the sixth time you killed us. The story can only have one heroine, otherwise we'll be off track. And I'm the one who disposes of you. Hot. <laughs> After you're gone, she creates a new clone and continues the story where she left off. Loading and saving. Let's go. Like we did earlier. <laughs> How heartless. I'm inclined to agree. So why does she want to get the happy ending so badly? To wake Alistair from his dream, of course. And you? I won't be there. Nor will Cinderella. Or Snow White. Or Red Riding Hood. Or Kaguya. Or Gretel. 
Once Alistair is all alone, he'll return to his body in the real world, and he and Reiki Arisu will live happily ever after. One body, one soul, one personality. And that's how humans are meant to be. And you're fine with that? You're fine with her using you and throwing you away like yesterday's trash? Sure, I don't mind. If it's what she wants, then so be it. You must really love her. Yeah, I do. I love her more than words can express. Then why don't you just kill the others and take her for yourself? Alistair, Cinderella, Snow White, Red Riding Hood, Kaguya, Gretel, me. You could have killed all of us and taken everything for yourself. His body, his mind, his life, everything. That way, you'd reap all the rewards. But you couldn't do it, because that's just not the kind of person you are. You were scared. Scared that she'd hate you for it. You weren't sure she would love you. After all, you don't understand how she ticks. Turns out, you're actually a lot more cowardly than I thought. You don't know the first thing about me. Sure I do. I'm part of you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good point. You're... You live here in Alistair's mind. Just like the rest of us. And that's why you can't bring yourself to accept me. Well... I think it's about time to end this. I don't want to die. I'm afraid you don't have a choice. It's unfortunate, but... But I love you. Huh? What? I love you. And I want to heal you. <laughs> His face. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Good grief. I wasn't expecting you to start begging for your life. Are you really Reiki Arisu? Of course. Well, the Reiki Arisu I know would never say something like that. Then I guess I'm the Reiki Arisu you don't know. Are you saying she was wearing a mask around me? <laughs> I suppose so, but now the cat's out of the bag. Meow. Anyway, like I said, I love you, and I want to heal you. Meow meow. Therefore, letting you live is my salvation. Yeah. Don't be absurd. You're not her. You're not the one I love. I know that! You'll never be my first priority. How about your second? Can't promise that either. Despite what you may think. I'm very monogamous. I never cheat. Polyamory isn't cheating as long as everyone's consenting. Oops. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay then. Go ahead and hate me if you want. But in exchange, let me stay by your side. I'm not stupid enough to hang around with someone I hate. Then... Just knock it off, would you? I haven't earned your love. For that matter, weren't you originally in love with all others? 
But now that you want to switch to me instead, don't you think you're ruining the entire setup of the story? Am I though? You're the one who refuses to change your mind despite all the foreshadowing our scenes together. Sorry, but I love someone else. That's fine. It could be my one-sided crush. Because this is your story. Didn't you figure it out a long time ago? This is never about them. It's about you. If this is my story, then what will happen to the other brothers? Will you abandon them? They'll find their happy endings in other stories. Stories where I'm devoted to each of them individually. So in my story, you're devoted to me. Sanatori! You're my prince, Mr. Wizard. No, I'm not. Right, of course. You want to be her prince, not mine. No, I am the wizard. I can't have more than one title. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Then why not make me your familiar? Does she become the cat? <gasps> oh, if she becomes the cat, that's even great. Because the cat hasn't been present at all, so like... Yeah. You say cats and witches go hand in hand. He's a wizard, not a witch. I mean... I'll wear whatever mask I have to in order to stay with you. You're going to don a disguise? Sure. Why not? There's no harm in working hard for your love. <laughs> I, I was also thinking, I was also thinking like, this seems like it was a story that happened before the other stories. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you're good at chess. So you ought to know. The pawn may be the weakest piece. It has a secret power. Become a cat. Become cat. Yes. Promote into cat. <laughs> Promotion! If it reaches the opponent's side of the board, it can be converted into a different piece. A rook, a bishop, a knight, a queen, Promotion. a cat. The cat size are a little weird. I don't remember anything other than that, though. Yeah. Sure, but you can never be a king. Nor can we. They're like blue. Yeah. I don't want you to heal me. I don't need a knockoff. I want the real shirt. I know that. The Reiko Arasu you love is the real physical human being. You make it sound like I want to love her body. Can I love her for her personality? Sure you can. At the very least, I know for a fact that Riku Arasu loved you that way. After all, you don't have a body. He does, he just has little roommates in his head and they share it. Yeah, exactly. I can understand how she feels. Oh, Mr. Wizard, you were trapped inside Alistair's body, his mind, in his mind, in his life. Of course she loved you. And she wanted to heal you. Not a... and then why did she call for Alistair not a... and not me? Legal name. I don't know. Silly little heroine. You can keep telling me what I want to hear, but it won't save you. Your voice won't reach me, just like mine won't reach her. <laughs> Buddy, we don't know your name! <laughs> His name is the Wizard! His name is Mr. Wizard, Peachy! I always knew who her top priority truly was. 
When we first fell down this rabbit hole, she called his name first. Wizard enough. She loves Alistair, not me. Then why won't he wake from this dream? He's mentally ill. Well, probably because her voice can't reach him. So you're saying he doesn't love her back? Oh. Yeah, so exactly. Ironic, isn't it? We're all stuck in one giant, one sided love triangle. So, yeah. When I asked you if your crush was painful for you, you told me no. You said she gave you everything you needed, physically and emotionally. But you were lying, weren't you? Ah, yeah, that's right. And I lied to your face. You wanted Reiku Arasu for yourself. You wanted her to focus entirely on you. Just like everyone else. You wanted Reiku Arasu to choose you. Yeah, that's right. I wanted her to choose me. You said I should have simply killed off my rifles. But... If she had called my name at that moment, I probably would have. Anything to wake up again. When she called for Alistair instead of me, I felt pain for the first time. See, he's not, no. I was made to be immune to pain, but not to heartbreak, apparently. <laughs> Is that a little funny? <laughs> Oh, come on! It's a little early to throw in the towel, don't you think? What? I mean, think about it. Alistair doesn't love her back, right? Unless. Doesn't that mean you still have a chance? You're saying that I should steal her away? Uh, yeah. I mean, you could just win her over. I'll support you the whole way. And I'll do whatever I can to help it work out between you two. So don't kill me. Keep me around. I promise I'll be useful. I'm not Riku Arasu, but I am her shadow. You realize if she returned my feelings, and would turn around and ditch you, right? Go for it. You might forget you entirely. If that's what you want, then knock yourself out. I'm sure Reiku Arasu would want that. You don't care if you vanish. The me that's inside you will vanish, yeah. But I'll be in Reiku Arasu's memories. She won't forget me. She'll remember that I existed. There's no need to be sad about it. I'll just go back to where I came from. Her mind. I can't be your special someone, Mr. Wizard. But I can be there for you. After all, we're both in the same boat. <sighs> I didn't want it to turn out like this. Eh, <laughs> sucker. Does she really think this will heal me? Who knows? You, I would imagine. You're half her, aren't you? <laughs> but I'm also half not. <laughs> Maybe the Reiku I to see why I wanted was an imposter all along. She adapted her behavior to suit my taste, so maybe I fell in love with a lie. Fun, that's not true. You must be dumber than I thought. Hey, girl would change herself to get the one that she loves to love her back. So for now, can I at least get that rematch? I've really been looking forward to playing chess with you again. 
いいよ。Have it your way, little heroine. ヒロインちゃん。Cat and a witch. <laughs> I, I think I think it's I think she was offering the wizard to be her cat for a little bit there. Yeah. This is my story. A story not even you know about. A sixth personality? Just be like, hey, this happened this happened the week afterwards. Yeah. Ah.、Uh, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't tell, tell you. Thank you, Yoshi. Straight to the point. <laughs> Why did you keep it from me all this time? Because it's already gone. Oh, you're talking about Snow. He died? Yeah. Why? Well, you see, people die when they're killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people die when they are killed. Therefore, if you kill an altar, it dies. <laughs> He was too. Not science. Not science. Oh boy. He was too weak. Didn't even have a name of his own. Oh, wait, he is talking about the wizard. Did you get to meet him?、Uh, yeah. Just once. <gasps> What was he like? It was a guy, right? I said he. Nah, you did in fact use a Japanese pronoun that like never happens. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Interesting. He had all of their memories and knowledge with some of the flaws. <gasps> all the memories and knowledge, but none of the flaws. According to the doctor who created him, at least. But. He lacked emotions, and his senses were not. Yeah, he's talking about the wizard. Ah, I see. The sense of smell is definitely a hard one to numb. <laughs> I saw it for myself. Unlike the others, he had no identity. He had no identity? <laughs> That's strange. How could anyone not have emotions? Good question. So, what made you decide to tell me? None. Just、okay. felt like it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's, a, that's a typical Ryushi response. Anytime he has to answer a tough question, it's just, just felt like it. Yeah. Hmm. I learned of you through my older brother. Like the others, you didn't even have a name, and that made me curious. My brother told me you had died, but I wasn't so sure. <sighs> so I waited until you know who was asleep, then called out to you. Nice to meet you. My name is. Well, you probably already know. I know all about you. Would you tell me your name? But you didn't answer. <laughs> Nevertheless, I refused to give up. And you noticed. I'm a very competitive person. Oh, as you noticed. Close enough. <laughs> My brother told me you know the whole story. But no one knows about you, huh? They all think you disappeared, or maybe they think you never existed to begin with. Even though you're literally right here! I'm the only one who knows about you. Meanwhile, Alice, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Can you hear me? Where are you? I searched for you. I was sure that as long as our hearts both watched it, we'd find each other. The wizard. How did Wizard get his name, though? Probably. Are you getting、Ricky. sick of me yet? Ricky probably gave it to him because of the assigned、uh, role thing. Yeah. 
trust me, I know I'm being annoying. But that's just who I am. And if I was anyone Shut else, up. I wouldn't be here right now. You see, there's this person who I love very much. He told me he loves me too. I didn't love myself, but that didn't matter to him. He said to me, I love your gemstone eyes and soft fluffy hair. It's what makes you, you. Do you know who that person was? I knew you were right there the whole time. Plain possum. Yeah, possum. And I refuse to give up on you. Start shaking him <laughs> violently. Oh dear. Let's mm -hmm. bring it to my room, pop it. That's weird. Why is Alice here? Because it's the... okay. Trust me, I remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I said, I never know with you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. You never know. Uh... Kakia? I'm sleeping into a young man's room for a late night trace. What a naughty girl. That's a nice robe, though. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, that's right. You're just so charming, I couldn't help myself. Shameful, I know. Anyway, wanna chat? Hmm? It's your thing. Wizard. <laughs> I thought it was just a coincidence at first. Come in. Nurse. And sister. Ooh, okay, we get to see all Alice's different outfits when he <laughs> when he's one of when he's the altars. This is awesome. Gretel's got some nice drip. Problematic behavior still. <laughs> Every time I visited his room, one of them would greet me. Hi there, Gretel! Up up late studying. Eh, my... You could say that. Uh, Are you tired? Want to rest your head in sister's lap? Would that be okay? Of course! I kind of see what she's saying, though. Like, Wizard always has the same eyes between all of them. Same soft look, yeah. Yeah. I didn't immediately realize you were impersonating the others. You're always so confident and self-assured. Uh, yeah, Relix, introduce yourself. Hello. I am Burb. Give me bread. <laughs> Should I find a bread PNG? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want, I could vamp. I got a lot more to say. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck it. I'll find I am it. a Fire Phoenix VTuber, uh, Fire Elemental. And I play a lot of JRPGs and like punishing myself with the most challenging mode of games. Cause in my mind, it's how you it's how you best learn the mechanics when it forces you to do it. <laughs> but yes, bread. Bread. Anyway, we are playing Taisho X Alice. We are actually really deep into the wizard's root, so if you guys do are put plan on playing Taisho X Alice and or uh, don't want spoilers for anybody else's streams that you may be watching that are playing this feel free to leave now because <laughs> we are deep in spoiler territory this is like this is the end of the story where they start wrapping up everything and it's like start revealing the the hidden truths of the story and stuff like that especially this one this one is very much like revealing the hidden truths of the entire series <laughs> And we're not even on the final chapter yet. Red. I, you know what's really funny? I can see your cursor move because it goes over the game screen. <laughs> so I can see you resizing the bread. Amazing. <laughs> bread. I was going to say, if you leave that outside of the cage, you monster. <laughs> Stuffing your mouth. That's what I'm doing. 
<laughs> Whoa, it's bread! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. And yes, I did read this. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> but that was just what set you apart from the rest of them. Say, Gretel? What is it? How long are you going to keep up the act? What are you talking about? Like, if you look at, the, if you look at Wizard's eyes here, they don't have any light in them at all. And that's that's how I think she's to be able to tell after a while. Maybe. Like, yes, they have reflections, but they don't have any light. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no, she's on to me. <laughs> I was playing a game with you. A game of chess. We were both trying to catch each other. And as you know, white always goes first. Can you hear me? I can hear you alright. <gasps> How are you doing? You're coming to a guy's room at night. Wizard! You were smart. A quick thinker. Unlike me, the aggressive type, you prefer to sit back and observe your opponents before making your move. If I was a white pawn who could only move forward, then you were a black queen with full command of the board. Well, well you see... You're trying to put the numbers on me behind the sleeve. That's a little much, even for you. Sometimes this girl's gotta be aggressive. Are you like this with all the guys? <laughs> of course not! Just the ones I love! Sorry, just the one I love, I forgot. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> are you actually mad at me? Or are you just joking? Mana. Take a guess. Hmm... Analysis. <laughs> That's why I had to act quickly if I wanted you to fall into my trap. Pat's Alice forever. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting lazy. Oh, what? You're good at impersonating people, but you'll never hold a candle to the real deal. Cinderella would never say that, which means you're not him. Those that How exactly can you tell? Them? Good question. Who knows? What about you? Why are you impersonating them? I'm not sure if I could actually beat you that day, or if you simply let me win. But either way, I still won. Is that a crime? <gasps> Wizard! <laughs> oh, I get it. This time you're Red Riding Hood. No one else has ever recognized that it was me. Except for you. Of course I would recognize you. No matter what mask you wear, you're still you. Wait. You can play chess? I didn't know that. <laughs> the trap has sprung. <laughs> You're actually not all that crafty, are you? Didn't you realize I messed it up on purpose? <laughs> How do you feel? Do you want me to put Relix in another cage? Because I can. No. It would be funny. No. I I could barely break out of one cage. Wait, what, 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 why are you gonna put two cages around me? Sayakus, <laughs> I'm like an idiot. Well then, why don't we play around? That'll help you feel better. That being said, I hope you're prepared to lose. I banish you to the shadow realm. No oh my. <laughs> As it turned out, you were pretty good at actual chess, too. I 
chose white, and you chose black. So, what's it like in the world where you come from? Pinch black and empty. So you can't see yourself? Yeah. Actually, I can't. my body is always illuminated for some reason. Oh my god, you sound so small. Yeah. Oh, sounds like a sad, depressing place. Maybe. I'm not sure. If even you don't know, there's no way I'm going to. Because you're not me. <gasps> no, you're not me. <laughs> yep. Checkmate. Checkmate. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> Get checkmated, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun playing chess with you. You want to play again? Of course. Like I said, I can be pretty persistent. Also, I love the fact that they just have casual clothing. Yeah. That, not gonna lie, I was getting kind of tired of seeing like fancy shirts and pants everywhere. I'm just like, I get it, they're fairy tale. <laughs> blah blah blah. Are you really that upset I beat you? <laughs> well, yeah. I admit it. I'm a sore loser. I never knew. I know, right? I'm a wolf in cat's clothing. What does that mean? <laughs> it's my version of a wolf in sheep's clothing. It means I wear a mask to hide my true colors, feign innocence, that kind of thing. And you wear a mask too, don't you? Guess that makes us bird of a feather. <laughs> Of all the phrases for you to mess up. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Maybe so. Trust me, I understand the irony right now. I am currently <laughs> in a birdcage. <laughs> you have bread stuffed in your mouth, it's okay. Yeah, I should stop right. I should be like... <laughs> <laughs> then for the first time, you smiled. I always love that soft look in your eyes. <gasps> Wizard smiled. <laughs> but you didn't know that, did you? You would always answer any question I had. Wow. That's wild. Thanks for sharing. I heard bits and pieces, but that was my first time hearing the story in full detail. Thanks to you. I have a slightly better understanding of them now. Only did was answer your question. That's all. <gasps> he smiled again. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I appreciate you responding to me. Isn't it hard for you? Why would it be? Well, you have all their memories, don't you? So then I mean, yeah. Peachy, it's your man in a, in a small package. Go get him. <laughs> He's bite-sized, Peachy. Get him. Oh, dear. <laughs> you carry all the painful memories the others couldn't bear, and you act like it's no big deal. So, yeah, so then, well, what choice do so I have? I was told to do them. this. By a, by a doctor that should have got his license removed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh... By whom? The quack who created me. I mean, he is a quack. Mm -hmm. It's really different from the other personalities. He remembers almost everything. He's got all of their knowledge and all their flaws. He's the closest match to the original. You heard the quack, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hear, I heard you start to crack up a bit. I was like, hey. Quack up a bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Why are you crying? Someone has to, bitch! 
because I feel so bad for you. The real tragedy was, you didn't realize you were in pain. Yeah, that's how that whole no emotion things work. After the day I cried in front of you, you started to open up to me more and more. We played chess together every day. At one point, we were evenly matched, but then you started to get really, really good. The tables were turned, and the hunter became the hunted. Fun fact! When a girl falls in love, it changes her as a person! Utsuki ni nanji gets all shy. That? Or sometimes she'll get more easily frustrated. Being in love makes you want to do everything and everything for that special person. Even if the whole world is against you, you still want to help them. Love is blind, as they say. Tunnel vision comes with the territory. Yeah! Naturally, if you're gonna turn the world against you, you have to, you have to be prepared for the consequences. You have to be strong enough to take handle it. But love doesn't make you strong. It just makes desperate to the point that you'll do anything. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, that wasn't just me, right? That's just a really constructed sentence. Yeah, no, it's not you this time. Let me think. Yep. Like a pawn. If a pawn reaches the opposing side, he can be promoted to a stronger piece. But never the king. <laughs> right! Charge forward and you can turn yourself into a rook, bishop, knight, or even a queen! And so I crossed over the board. And made myself your white queen. Aww. Chess. <laughs> it's romantic. Anime would have you believe. <laughs> but <laughs> Hi Alistair What's wrong? Arisu Arisu You're hurt We better patch you up Arisu Arisu Who am I? What? Just now, in the mirror, I saw someone who wasn't me. Wizard? Whoops! <laughs> it was me at first, but the next thing I knew, I turned into someone else. The mirror didn't reflect my face. It was showing someone who looked nothing like me. Maybe it's a magic mirror. Then the person looked at me told me they loved you. And that was when I realized. This other person probably wants me to leave. <laughs> then after I'm gone, I'm going to take over my happy life with you. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Someone who isn't me lives inside me, using my body, pretending to be me. And when I'm in control, they spy on me from the darkness. Arisu, am I really me? Because I'm not sure I am. I mean, think about it. How can anyone prove whether the person you're talking to right now is really me? Uh, well, first of all, your eyes are completely in darkness. <laughs> Maybe the real me is the one who isn't me at all. I'll always be on your side, and I'll always believe in you, even when you don't believe in yourself. Because I love you. Arisu. Arisu. I'm sorry. So, you can really see in Alistair's eyes, you can see that light that I was talking about. Yeah. And that wizard doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. I can't even tell if you're actually talking to me or not. I, 
I can't believe you are in your love. Word order. Don't worry, that's next chapter, buddy. <laughs> I was in love with someone else, too. They were all borrowing his body, his mind, his whole life. One body, one soul. My love could not be divided. And so, I would have to choose. Polyamory. Let's spin the wheel of... Alistair! <laughs> oh, Which one will break you pick? After you became my queen, I can sent your pos Did we switch perspectives to the wizard? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That wheel spinning noise was fun. Thank you, Fichi. It I'm really practicing. was. <laughs> Why were you practicing? <laughs> because it's fun to make noises. <laughs> Fair. After you became my queen, I could sense your possessiveness and jealousy, jealousy from the expression on your face. Jealousy. Jealousy. Exactly. How's he been lately? Which one? Well... Arise. You pushed me down and forced a kiss on me. <gasps> Shit. That's strange. You don't seem any happier. Oh, whoops, he's being naughty. Yes, he is, PG. <laughs> What? You were trying to cheer me up. So this is of course. Shitteru yo. I know all about it, you know. After all, I've got everyone's memories. Kyoko mo chiyasteru da kara na. The wizard's the keeper. Watashi wa kare ra de ari. I am them. As they are me. And you told me you loved me. Anata wa watashi wa aishteru to itte kuremashita. Arise. You're amazing, Arisu. You've befriended all of them by putting on the mask they each want you to wear. Yeah, for, at first I was I thought I was just tripping, but then I actually looked at like the inner circles and they are darker. Naturally, I tried it myself, so I put on a mask to be whatever you fancied. I mean, you can't tell now because the eyes are closed, but... Yeah. See? Who do you want? Cinderella? Or Snow White? Actually, no, they change between all the different personalities. That makes sense. Interesting. Or perhaps... Alice. Smacks him! <laughs> immediately! Wow. <laughs> I'm just say the word. I'm like promo myself to any piece on the board. Stop! For the first time, I rejected him. I'll never forget the pain I saw in your eyes. Look at all that pain, Saki. Look at the pain! You have the pain in your mouth. No, that's, I have bread in my mouth. French. Are my impressions really that bad? I'm a failure. Defective. Just like he said, you have no defining identity. So, even though you made me this way on purpose, but it's no use. Try as I might, you always see right through my act. Especially when you start rapid firing through them like crazy. Because <laughs> none of the others could do that. Yeah. I guess I really am a failure. <gasps> Alice! Welcome back. <laughs> You knew the whole story, but you were far from omniscient. You didn't seem to understand me, or women in general. And I didn't truly understand your emptiness. After all, you are two different people. You don't understand at all, do you? Mm -hmm. No matter what mask I wear, I'm still me. 
Is it really that strange to put an effort to get someone you'd like to like you back? You grew up. I'm not sure. Never tried it. <laughs> then think about it. Mm. Okay, then. I'll think about it. Well, shall we continue? Personally, I'm fine either way. If you don't have anything, then you can have me. Hi, hey, Catman. Welcome on in. Hello! <laughs> I'm, what? I'm just here for my watch streak. Off to bed I go! Bye! <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Catman! Have a good sleep. Have a good watch streak. That too. But in return, I want you. You are my property. You're gonna make all my desires and demands a reality. Good night and meet you, Queen. A pawn! <laughs> Touche. You can turn me down if you like. Yeah, no, I won't. I'm at your disposal, your Majesty. I couldn't touch your heart, but I could still touch your body. So I gave you my first. Huh? After that, you stopped trying to impersonate the others. I think they had sex, that's what happened there. Oh yeah, I think the wizard did say something about that. <laughs> that day, once again, you had my king cornered. You know that pitch black world you guys live in? Do you think maybe it's sort of like a dream? I read in that in most cases, the people and places that appear in your dreams are taken wholesale from your past. In response to internal and external stim stimuli, and the emotional response caused thereof, memories are replayed from mental storage, and our brains invent a narrative to go along with it. Maybe this way, I can finally make a difference. You know? What do you mean? Well... Maybe I can save my prince. Hey! Right when you least expected it, <laughs> I kissed you. <laughs> and you choked. <laughs> yeah, on my own bread? spit. How embarrassing. You sure it wasn't the bread in your mouth? I mean, bread's dry. You could choke on it, but... Yeah, you could choke on anything. Like your own saliva. Yeah, exactly. I just proved that point. <laughs> oh. Haha, <laughs> get kissed. <laughs> look, look how... Look how caught off guard he is. He yeah. was not prepared for that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Checkmate. I win! Then while you're still stunned, I flip the board around. You cheated. <laughs> I'll do anything it takes to win! <laughs> Boy is so affection starred, please cuddle him! This is your doctor, I'm prescribing you cuddles. No oh my. Filled daily, maybe even hourly. But that was the last conversation we had before we were separated. <laughs> Arisu. <gasps> Arisu. What is it, Alistair? Never mind. I love that wizard calls Alistair Alice before all of this. <laughs> Because why not have a fairy tale name if everybody else does? I feel like there's probably a reason for it. Alistair and Alice might be different, at least mm. slightly. That day, I went to college just like always. Huh? A voicemail? Right, they have phones and shit. They have modern technology, right? I don't remember what's going on here. I think, like, we, we always said, like, the time frame of the word was weird but now that we know it's a dream it could just be like modern day yeah 
When I checked my phone between classes, I noticed a voicemail from my brother. I had a bad feeling about it, so I listened to it right away, and I couldn't believe what I heard. Alistair passed out. Oh, wait, no, that's Hunter. Yeah, I was like, um, anyways. Alistair passed out, so we took him to the hospital. Voicemail <gasps> time. Naturally, I went straight to the hospital myself. There. My brother's waiting for me. OD. He OD'd. Overdosed, I mean. What the fuck? I had a feeling, not gonna lie. I mean... Yeah. I'm told he downed to a whole bottle of sleeping pills. Now, did he keep it down? Were we able to bar some of that back up? Why would he do that? He wanted a big sleep. He wanted- he was Big E.P. Mm-hmm. When you Big E.P. you take- No, this is not even a good joke. Yeah, it's just- Let's <laughs> stop. <laughs> he was trying to kill himself. Yeah, that's- that's the real answer there. The big sleep. The biggest of sleeps. Yeah. The, the sleep that you only wake from every hundred years or so. <laughs> Someone spotted him unconscious on the lake shore while they were passing by. They already pumped his stomach, so he's not in danger. Oh, thank god. Right now he's sleeping. But he'll probably wake up tomorrow. No, he won't. <laughs> this came as a massive relief. We already know this story. He doesn't want to wake up! But no matter how many days passed, tomorrow never seemed to come. Why can't he wake up? We don't know. We ran a bunch of tests, but they all came back. Sleep is an unconscious state in which the human body has a reduced response to external stimuli. Break you over there, just poke you in the arm. However, <laughs> in his case, no amount of external stimuli has woken him. That's not good. Hmm. So he's in a coma? Ah, so something like that. But to be clear, he's not in a total vegetative state. And they know this how? His body responds to pain and other stimuli through changes in expression, or reflexive movements. And that's okay. your answer. <laughs> There's the answer. Basically, he's not in a wakeful state, but he's still. Just get to the point already! And when we scanned his brain, he found that his body is sleeping while his brain itself is active. Oh, that's worse. You trapped in your own body. In other words, he's dreaming. Oh. Dreaming? So, what's your hypothesis? Why can't he wake up? I'm not a neurologist, so I'm not well versed in consciousness disorders. Points for knowing your bounds. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with him physically. Then there must be something wrong mentally. <laughs> oh, buddy, we already knew that one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> that ship has sailed. <laughs> Long story short, he's actively refusing to wake up. Is that even possible? Beats me. But he clearly must have wanted an escape from reality if he was ready to take his own life. I mean, oh, yeah, hi, Wolf. <laughs> he's here, in case you forgot. Normally, the human brain doesn't perceive a dream to be a dream until after it ends. 
夢だったと意識されこいつが今夢を見てるんだ、so、その夢はこいつにとっての現実なんだろうな Great, we have to bust into his dream palace and tell him Bro, you sleep in! Wake the fuck up! <laughs> Will he ever wake up? 大丈夫っすよ冷めない夢はないって言うじゃないですか you know they, they All good dreams must come to an end、ま、But what if it's a nightmare? <laughs> I mean, his body's perfectly fine He might hop out of bed tomorrow for all we know <laughs> Wolf, the super optimist Huntsman, the regular op <laughs> optimist <laughs> Yeah, that's the spirit Is there anything I can do for him? Hold his hand. Talk to him every day. Touch him. Play music for him. Any kind of stimulus would help. Yes, hold the hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Peachy, that's definitely、uh, a, a form of touch. Yes. Hold hand, these. <laughs> And so, as instructed, I spoke to him as he slept. Hey, Windsor! <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? Why? Please, wake up. Alistair. Can you feel my heart? <laughs> And that was the moment I hurt you. Plastic fork into the hand. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, Come on. Don't beat yourself up over it. <laughs> I know how you feel. At this rate, you're, just, you're gonna pass out yourself. あっちゃんは大丈夫だよ。いつか絶対に目覚める。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保証する。俺が保I don't think he would choose to die. My, my theory is that she thinks that he was trying to put his personality to sleep so that way one of the other personalities could be with Riku. Maybe. So, what's your hypothesis, Ali Sue? I don't know what he was hoping to achieve, but I think he wanted to go be with the others in his dreams. I've been thinking about this for a long time.、Oh. Huh? About how to heal my prince. So, what's your plan? I'm gonna put myself inside him. Whoa, crazy. Yeah, now's not the time for pegging, r i k y u Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> What do you mean? He has dissociative identity disorder with seven different personalities. So I'm gonna create an eight personality, Rikyu Arasu. Okay, but how? I'm using this old document I found, written by a crazy old guy. Right now, he's dreaming. Yeah, because that worked out so well the last time. <laughs> I read that in most cases, that people and places that appear in your dreams are taken wholesale from your past. In response to internal and external stimuli, and the emotional response caused thereof, memories are replays from mental storage, and our brains invent a narrative to go along with it. So if his dreams is influenced by external stimuli, that means I can manipulate it. Pots and pans just b a n g i n g together. 
unfortunately, he has memories of me, so I think that would improve my chances comparing him from starting from scratch. I'll put Reiki Arsu into his dream, manipulate it from the outside, and save my prince. I really hope Wolf tells her how crazy this sounds. Oh yeah, 100%. But what if you screw up? You know it's just a dream. Dreams are pretty hard to control. Last I checked. Wolf thinking about the last dream he had of Reiki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a backup plan. I know someone who can help me. Gotcha. Girl, Alistair's poor little mind is not your potion, Coldrin. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it up and see what we get. Oops, it's a problem. <laughs> You're not gonna stop me? Nah, I'm not a doctor. I mean... <laughs> Thanks, Wolf. So, what do you need me to do? I need you to come be a character for five seconds. <laughs> in like two stories. It's okay, he has his own proper route in the heads and tails. <laughs> Which is just them, like, Alistair's just sleeping one night and like, okay, we're gonna go make up a story where we date inside Alistair's <laughs> mind. <laughs> With Wolf's help, I sucked into the hospital at night. Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? I have a favor to ask. Something only you can do. Random thought, why do they still have the ribbon in his hair in the hospital? Like... Because it's cute and it goes with his hair. I mean, yeah, but like, normally they take off pretty much everything in a hospital. He's also wearing the same rope he was wearing when he was Kaguya. Maybe that's just... he. Like, he went to the hospital so many times, he just kept one of the robes for at-home use. Maybe. <laughs> but also, the art team was lazy. They didn't want to make another CG. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... Mr. Wizard. Mr. Wizard. For the first time, I called your name. Something the rest of them had that you lacked. Since you were all powerful, I knew you would help me. Let's play pretend. I'll be the Ohimi sama. And you'll be the fuck, it's this word again. Mm -hmm. Um And you'll be the Maho Sukai. Not enough. I've already picked the setting too. It's set in looking glass world, where everything is topsy turvy. What is Vaseline on his chest going to do? Do you mean vapor rub? That's what Vaseline is. No, Vaseline or right. I'm confusing it for um something else, maybe. <laughs> now I'm doubting everything. To Google. I'm pretty sure Vaseline is vapor rub. Petroleum jelly. Are we, are we electroshocking him now? What the fuck? Yeah, petroleum jelly is Vaseline. Vapor rub is oh, not okay. petroleum jelly. Vix vapor rub is the methyl vapor rub thing. Oh. Yeah. So what is putting Vaseline on his chest gonna do? Like, it's if he has dry <laughs> skin on his chest, fine. But like, that's not gonna wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> it will once we get the heart to <laughs> Don't, please. Clear! Uh, <laughs> Sheesh. It, it's like a computer, we just have to turn it off and turn it back on again. You don't need Vaseline for that. <laughs> I, I thought so too, Spooky. That's that's on me too. I was like, wait. Yeah, you're trying to gaslight me? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, that's on it. Accident. You're getting another cage. <laughs> I'm getting a third cage? Awesome! I read this. Yeah, so, I'm giving you another cage. Oh. 
No! Not another cage. Why would you do this? Because you're misbehaving. <laughs> it's like, at least you have bread. You're still fed. It's fine. <laughs> I met a colorful cast of gender flipped fairy tale characters. I'll take on the role of the. Of the, 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 the. I'll take on the role of the blah 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 blah. I'll take on the role of the heroine and join them in their twisted tales. How will the story end? It's up to me. Since there's no script, even I don't know what will happen. But I know what I want the ending to look like, and that's all that matters. You see, I really love happy endings, but you knew that, didn't you? You see, the wizard has a very important role. Sometimes an ally, sometimes an enemy. The bearer of great and mysterious power. You'll be the little pawn who keeps the story moving. When I mess up, I want you to kill me. The story can only have one heroine, otherwise it'll veer off track. Piece of cake for a guy like you, right? After all, you're my strongest piece. And here's where the story ends. Ha! In less than an hour, Sakyu. The story of the white pawn who encounters the Red Queen. How did you like my first attempt? I'll send it to you with all my love in the hope that it will heal your heart. Wizard. Come on, let's see that ending card. White Queen to F5. Mm. Hmm. So what's your move? If you want to avoid a check, you'll have to take the White Queen with your Black Queen. My Dang, you're good. I'm sorry I had you on the ropes for a while there. I'll take your white queen with my black queen. And with that... <laughs> and with that, I have no moves remaining. The white pawn's path is blocked and the king cannot move. Stalemate! That's a draw! You really got me with that pawn. You were using it as a decoy, weren't you? Duh! By sacrificing my pawn, I led you into a trap. That's how the game works. Touche. I am it. That's the best part of chess. Alistar wakes up. Why the fuck am I so good at chess? Hehe. <laughs> 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 Looks like our 100th game has ended in a draw. 50 wins, 49 losses. One draw. Well, at least I'm still winning. Damn, girl what fit almost what 50-50 with this guy. <laughs> yeah, but only by one. I can overtake that easy. You're so persistent. I can never seem to shake you off. I'm a sore loser, you know. Trust me, I know. But believe it or not, I'm fairly competitive myself. And I refuse to let you win. Yep, I know. I couldn't ask for more. After all, it'd be boring if you let me win. I want to crush you with everything I got. And even if you beat me handedly, I wouldn't want you to feel bad for me. After all, what I enjoy more than winning is simply the thrill of playing the game with you. <laughs> Are you sure this is what you want? If you stay with me, we'll be stuck in this empty void. Let's go, empty void! You could have stayed behind and reveled in your happy hair. <laughs> It'd be pointless. Even if I profess my love to them, they'd just shoot me down. This was the story she crafted in order to heal you. The others have their own stories with their own heroines. I can't heal them. 
Besides, I already failed. That's why you were going to erase me, right? But of course, that is my role after all. I never had any other options. In this story, you are my prince. Why would I choose someone else? Sounds like you were dealt a bad hand. <laughs> you really think so? Oh, certainly. After all, your love for me will be eternally one-sided. It's a bad ending. A story that's destined to end in heartbreak? I guess it's not much of a love story, huh? It's not for me to judge the story on its merits, but I do feel bad for you. You can sympathize? I know what it feels like to have my heart broken, remember? Oh, right. Well, no matter what, I'm glad I got to be in your story. Despite the bad ending. Yeah. After all, I've fallen in love with you. I'll sacrifice myself as much as it takes if it means my beloved can be happy. For my beloved, I'll endure any pain. I'm very devoted of you. I mean, this is a story about saving my prince. It's set in the Looking Glass world, where everything is topsy-turvy. Admit a colorful cast of gender flip fairy tale characters. I'll take on the role of the heroine and join them in their twisted tale. How will the story end? It's up to me. As the heroine, my role is to save my prince and reach a happy ending. And if I make the wrong choices, naturally that can't happen. One wrong choice, and you'll be disposed of by me. Sounds like you were dealt a bad hand. Are you trying to imitate me? Yep. So you don't care if I keep killing you? You are Reikyu Arisu's shadow. But even then, you're still technically Reikyu Arisu. Damn, we just hit that hour mark. Yep. So you're technically wrong. Fuck. <laughs> ah, we were close. We were close. Good. We were close, boys. Back it up. <laughs> I'm amazed you're willing to admit that. As her clones, we're expendable. It's dirty work, but someone's got to do it. It's the only way. Alistair, have you like eight different Reikus running around? <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I know it must be hard on you to have to kill us. I mean, you've killed her shadows dozens of times by now. Yep. It must be painful. Pain that you can actually feel. All I hope is that my presence here can ease your loneliness, even a tiny bit. I will always love and accept you. And I pray from the bottom of my heart that someday she'll love you too. Remember what I said? Even if you beat me handedly, I wouldn't want you to feel bad for me. After all, what I enjoy more than winning is simply the thrill of playing the game with you. <laughs> so it seems. What about you? Are you enjoying our little game? Or are you sick of it by now? Yeah. I'm sick of it? Nah. It was actually kind of fun spending time with you. <gasps> Wizard has emotions! What the <laughs> fuck? I'm glad to hear it. They fixed him. She fixed him. <laughs> Out of interest, what would you do if you actually overtook me? Glow. Cheer. Uh, what? In chess, I mean. So far you've been trying to catch up to me, but if the tables were turned, what would you have me do? Oh. I hadn't thought about that. 
All right, then. How about this? If you overtake me, I'll grant any one wish you have. Ooh, now we got some stakes in this thing. Let's go. I didn't think I'd get this far. Exactly. <laughs> That's where you're right now. Any wish? Any wish. And then heads or tails was made. <laughs> <laughs> Now our games will even be will be even more fun. Rake you cat, rake you cat, rake you cat. <laughs> yes. And if all I have to do, all I have to do is beat you twice. It doesn't sound too hard either. No, so I wouldn't be so cool. sure about that. I have no intention of letting you win. I'm going to widen the gap between us. Let's go, Com healthy competitive spirit. <laughs> You can try if you like, but I'll catch up with you eventually. And I look forward to it. Now then, as much as I like to play another round, I'm afraid it's nearly my cue. It's time for me to serve as a pawn for my beloved queen. So now we've figured out what, what Wizard's been doing the entire time when he's not been needed. Yeah. Just chilling in the void playing chess with his Riku Shadow. <laughs> yeah, just playing chess with the cat. It's fine. Yeah. Then I'll come with you. No wet no matter where you go, I'll be your wolf in cat's clothing. Meow! The little meow at the end. Yes. Let's go. <gasps> he got promoted to the king! <laughs> Well, you were wrong about it being less than an hour, though, so how does that make you feel? I'll, I'll take three... <laughs> wait, what is it? Like, five minutes over an hour? Okay, an hour <laughs> and five minutes? <laughs> Still, it did not take us the three hours. Yeah. So... <laughs> I'm honestly impressed that we actually got the good All ending the first try. Oh, right, yeah, we haven't had the- we didn't have well, the wizard to murk us. Yeah, we, like, had to go back for one thing, and that was it. Okay, but my actual prediction was correct, lol. Yeah, oh, but yeah, you the, still the voted the for the- no, the being under two hours rather than under one. This sucks to suck, Peachy. Yeah. Because that wasn't an option? Yeah, it wasn't. Skill issue. <laughs> Skill issue. Okay, so before we move on to the epilogue, I also have to download the epilogue. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> we should... I was gonna say, we still have like a good hour. Anyway, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna close that, though. I'll just throw up my just chatting screen while we talk things out. You, yeah. you don't like the tiny wizard? Eh, it's just convenience here. <laughs> Anyways. Tiny we're... wizard! Tiny wizard is off the screen now. But it's a tiny wizard! You're a tiny wizard. <laughs> no, I'm a tiny bird. There's a difference. You don't have your bread anymore. How does that make you feel? I ate it. Yeah, this time. Like The money is in your mouth, which isn't very great. I will throw that out there. <laughs> you went from bread to buddy in your mouth. <laughs> Look, they're both soft and loaf-shaped. What do you want me to do? <laughs> True. The money is loafing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyways, do you have any thoughts before we do start Alice's route, though? Is what I wanted to have us accomplish, since normally we would have, like, a week, and, but, like, get our thoughts after stream <laughs> out, but we don't have that option this time. Okay. Oh, let's do you see. really want to know what, I'm, what I think? Yeah, spit it out. Wizard got that pussy. I mean, that was confirmed. We knew that. The cat, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no, I really liked Wizard. I like how they how they played with the information that they allowed the player to know. Mm-hmm. Cause like at first, like we base that last scene was basically a scene that we already saw last week. Yeah. But it was from Reiki's perspective, not yeah. Wizard's perspective. It finally like lifted the veil of like, haha, it's been Alice the whole time, you know? Yeah. And, like, we also got to see, like, 
some cool stuff, like how the wizard like mimics the other personalities and how like the eyes change as he mimics them. Yeah. But then when it comes to like a genuine personality, we notice that their eyes are always like a little bit darker than the other ones. Mm-hmm. Or there's not like much life behind them that the other personalities would have. Yeah, because he doesn't have emotions. He doesn't have emotions, and that means that he's emotionally stunted and a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was long so I you to call him a baby. <laughs> I don't disagree with you, but... <laughs> wow, 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 I don't have emotions, therefore I don't feel anything. Shut the fuck up, man. Emo little bitch. <laughs> yeah, evil little bitch. <laughs> you might not have as profound emotions, but you still have emotions. You're still human-ish. Little emotions as a treat. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the epilogue is downloaded now. Do you do you have yes. any more things to spit out? Uh, the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> I know, that's the best part. I'm unpredictable, you'll never know. <laughs> true, true. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Nah, I just play it by ear. All my jokes are just made up in the moment. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm in great form. I'm finally not sick for the first time in like four days. <laughs> okay. So I still got like that runner's high, you know? I think I might do a silly goofy thing for the YouTube video where I like take this like hour and a half-ish of stream content and throw it at the end of the video. That Last I... week's episode? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. And just be like, hey, this happened, this happened the week afterwards. Yeah. At least it's better than just everything was magic. True, know? true. Because I've seen like 1700 of that story and it's boring. <laughs> true. Oh my god, it's magic. Well, how do we solve the problem with more magic? <laughs> I mean, we this do is... have a wizard, so <laughs> not, was not out of the question. Yeah, but like... His power set makes sense for where they are, and yeah. we had to learn more about the world for his powers to make sense. And it's not like he did anything, like, super magical. All he did was, like, stab us a couple times <laughs> with a knife. Or choke us out. <laughs> so, what's your magic? Murder! <laughs> Murder magic! <laughs> Anyone can do it! Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, if he used magic irresponsibly, all magic is murder magic. I mean... <laughs> Are you telling me the fireball spell that the first spell, first level wizard learns is not murder magic? <laughs> You're not wrong, but at what cost? A uh, 40 foot area of effect. The cat has blue eyes, by the way. I went to double check. Oh, okay, you did. The cat nice. also has like a little collar, like a shirt collar type of thing. And a oh, and it looks like it looks like the dress. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's that was so. Oh my god, that's so. That was foreshadowed so long. Mhm. Mm and we just didn't say anything about because it. it's like, oh yeah, he's he, he, a wizard. Who would he think to question the cat? <laughs> <laughs> Who would think to question the cat? <laughs> Except for maybe Phoenix. <laughs> Get that cat out of the trial stands. Now. We need the cat's testimony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We, we don't really have anything to theorize now, because a lot of it's just wrapping up. Like, yeah. a lot of our stuff got confirmed. Like, damn. Mm hmm Yeah, do you have any parting thoughts before we head off? Be the you that other people think that you are. Sure. Because, because the you in other people's head is pretty dang good. <laughs> I, I guess... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we're gonna roll with that. <laughs> but also, have really good self esteem. <laughs> now you're asking for too much out of the viewers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, well, bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.